Don't push the button. Oh, she pushed the button. Vincent? Vincent. What's the status oh, update? You're muted, Vincent. <laughs> there we go. Oh, you want me to do the joke? <laughs> I, I think you just did it. How will yes, we know yeah, if you yes, don't? Dad, yes, Dad, we need the joke. Come on. Uh, yes. So, uh, Adrian. Yeah? You know we're being recorded? I do now. Holy cow. Okay, cool. <laughs> I love your hat, Cat. Where's Cat? Oh, shit. We're being oh, recorded. that is cute. That is really cute. <laughs> That's a cat in the hat. <laughs> oh, it's a hat in the cat. No, cat I like Kevin's. I like Kevin's oh. better. Oh, wait, shit. wait, we have two cats. You have to be careful out here now. You're muted, cat. You're just tormenting us as to what you're saying. So we're gonna giggle at it anyway. <laughs> I said it's on me, not in me, Susan. I swear it's not in me. <laughs> I can't see everything there. I can only see a little bit. Hey, Stephen, do you get enough door at dash for everybody? Is he still there? You're muted, Stephen. Well, but what I was saying was so valuable. Um, <laughs> that was hilarious. Hi, honey. He looks like he's actually pulling food right out of the ocean. Yeah, he does. He it is sushi. Fresh no, Bob. Yep, fresh sushi. Very. What? Bobbing in the ocean. Come say hi. So Mark Dash to delivers say hi to since folks. He, since he just came back. Look at that. Isn't that creepy? He's way behind you. Hello. <laughs> hi, Mark. <laughs> Where am I? I don't see my. You're right there. Sometimes I really hate Wikipedia editors. Uh, uh, Adrian, <laughs> yes. um, uh, the, somebody just put up my redirect to the law of attraction for lucky girl syndrome for deletion because no one calls it that. What? Yeah. So I'm going to do something. Try to do something about that tomorrow. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you can have that on it. Yeah, All I, right. I Googled it and I just put the link for Google. It's like the first 5 million hits if you type in lucky girl syndrome are all about the law of attraction. Exactly. So. Yeah, it's just somebody who well, doesn't know what they're talking about. Nothing better to do about. than just delete stuff yeah. from Wikipedia. Yeah. It really annoys me. Susan, did you see Lauren Fancrantz's post? Well on done, Cat. His his post about what? His post. Lauren Fancrantz's post on Facebook. I uh, see him sometimes. I can look. I okay. think I might tag you on that particular post. Okay, do that. That'll be faster. Yes, it seemed it seemed to fit Susan perfectly. Ooh, yes, it scary. did. She, Adrian, she needs to you... put somebody on it immediately. Immediately. All right. Who's on the it? The 21st hmm? to our huh? celebration. Are you going to our celebration on the 21st? Probably not, but probably possibly. not. Oh, yeah. okay. All right. So we all here. So <laughs> I want to warn everybody that we do have a new person today. So her husband's <laughs> been here before. So we do have two Kevins here. So be careful. And they'll be forever known as Nicky, K, K, Katie, Nick. What? Kanicky. <laughs> Kanicky. There you Kinnicky. go. Kanicky. I like it. Kanicky. <laughs> Kanicky. That's that's the easiest way of determining that we a different Kevin. And uh, so so Nikki's new. So we have to be on our best behavior. So she, yeah, seriously, Mark Mark talks and he can't. You can't hear him, and he can anyway. So we've got uh, a good game here today. We're going to lead off with Kat, who's taking over for Vincent, which was taking you over want some we team names? for Peggy. Yeah, we'll do that in a second. And then we've okay. got Rob, and then Carl, Gail, and then Robin <clears throat> will be here for the fifth round. So the, team five, don't worry. They're, they're, we're going to have Robin, and Deborah says she'll be here in a few minutes. So that, that should be a lot of fun. Um, are we ready for team names? I'm ready for team names. So Kat, you're... Wait, wait, let me get over to the screen so I can actually see you guys who's in what room. Because I'm on I'm on my laptop, you know. Faith, Romero, Kat, Kyle, and Vincent. What is your team name tonight? Tesla's autopilot asleep at the wheel. Ooh, that's sad. There are gonna be some accidents. More. Well, because there was a two million Tesla recall this week. So mm -hmm. yeah, and he's in charge of everything. That's pretty <laughs> scary. Where he's gonna get us to the moon. All right, Ben, Jane, Lee, and Rob. So we have a story I wasn't even aware of, but uh, several people knew about it. It's are the Voyager one data glitches transforming it into V'ger? <laughs> <laughs> no. 
I know what those are, both of those things, but I hadn't heard about this story. Okay. There's not much to it. All right. Janine, Carl, Leonard, and Adrian. Team name? We ain't got no team name. We don't need no team name. I don't have to show you any stinking team name. <laughs> I wonder what that's from. But what's your team matches. name? We don't need no matches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, got it. Okay. So Carolyn, Gail, Kevin Mocker, Stephen Nelson. Trump said, nobody <laughs> would be a better president than me. We agree. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Perfect. Uh, that's good. Okay, so I'm writing this down as I go. And let me put that into our spreadsheet. Alan, Cindy, Konecki, Ron, and Robin. Good Lord, another psychic. <laughs> who? Who? Where? Where? Is there another one? Okay, so, all right, so let me read these out loud, and Mark can tell us which is the team name that's going to win, Um, because he doesn't really know who's these people. Okay, so I'm going to take off the, take, unplug you for a second, Mark, you ready? <laughs> the team names? Okay, he's ready. He's ready. Um, you guys can still hear me? Mm-hmm. Yep. Hear what? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> can you guys hear me now? Yes. No, we could. We yes. can't hear you. I could hear you, oh, you before. Yeah. I was just kidding. You guys are awful. Okay. So here's the team names, Mark. <laughs> Tesla's autopilot asleep at the wheel versus are the Voyager 1 data glitches transforming it into V'ger? That's from uh, Star Trek. Okay. He knew that. Team name. We ain't got no team name. We don't need no team name. I don't have to show you any stinking team name versus. Oh, I have rump said. Well, maybe I should leave it that way. <laughs> <laughs> That's appropriate. Susan. Trump said, nobody would be a better president than me. We agree. <laughs> Get it? Nobody. <laughs> nobody would be better. And then team five. Good Lord, another psychic. Ah, psychic wins. So... I psychically predicted that that's what Mark would pick. <laughs> Rob said, "Next time I'm going to name my team mentalist." You, he said, uh, "He said he psychically predicted you would say pick five. Okay, so we are ready to go. By um, the way, Mark hmm? obviously did not look look at the makeup of our team. Correct. No, just the name. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't know who you are. I didn't tell him. Alan, Cindy, K- Kanicki, Ron, and Robin. Why? What? 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 <sighs> Alan's on the team. Oh, okay. Here we go. Are you guys ready? We're on game Love number it. 193, season four. And today is December the 14th of 2023. I am in Burlingame, I think, right now at a hotel up by San Francisco. And um, I'm excited to get started. I don't like missing trivia. And um, I think a lot of you don't either. So let's get started. So I need to give permissions over here to Kat, who's going to be leading us off. Thank you so much, Kat. She wrote a category in the last few minutes just so that she would be able to be here to um, give us a nice, unique category. She said she didn't like the one she had already written, so she came up with another one. So well, who it's knows? okay. I mean, the other one's okay, but... Well, save it for another day. Maybe it's saved. Too. Yeah, so this is Keanu number two. two. No, <laughs> <laughs> did you do you know what you did to that man? So, so Ke- yes, I do. Keanu, Keanu, she did a category on him. What last week? Last week, God, I was in Sydney, Australia. That feels weird. So, and then the next day, no, the same night. Oh the my god, the same night that I was doing trivia, this happened. Tell tell everybody what happened. Oh my god, what happened? You almost killed him. A group of dudes with balaclavas broke into his house and they stole Whoa. his firearm was he there no he's on tour with dog star a did group jamie, of what did, did jamie come there and visit him <laughs> oh, yeah, you know, somebody jamie. watched our youtube jamie's a disaster <laughs> a, group so of, a, a group of <laughs> what a, a group of what where were the what group of what a group of guys wearing balaclavas ski okay. masks did For those of you them? who don't know what a balaclava is, no, it's a, it's a green it's dessert. A, it's a ski it's a black mask. mask that you pull over your face. Ski mask. Yeah, yeah the, the proper name is balaclava. 
Yeah. Is that a Canadian word? I'm sure it is. I'm I think you just like saying it. Canada. 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 Why? Because up here you got to cover your face. It gets cold. <laughs> so they didn't catch the people, right? No. It, like he got a security warning um, and security went out and they couldn't see anything. And that was, you know, right around when we were doing trivia. And mm-hmm. then at one in the morning, the alarm goes off again. And that's actually where they got the video of the masked gang of guys going into his home. And it was reported that they stole his firearm. And I happen to know that when he was uh, doing his training for John Wick, he was gifted a candy apple red Glock. And I'm sure that's what they stole. Mm. So Kat, did he take, did they steal his, your phone number and all that too? Well, luckily I'm under a different name in this phone. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I thought maybe you'd written it on a slip of paper and that was what was taken. And you know, that's why. So, so you're responsible. So I am totally responsible and I powers. feel horrible. For those of you who don't know, one of our main uh, people who play regularly, Peggy, she killed Betty White. <laughs> so yes. We we've got this thing that we're really careful about saying some people's names because it, when we do categories on them, sometimes they die the next day or something really bad Donald happens. To Trump. Them. It only Donald happened Trump. twice. Trump. <laughs> Trump. We've been Betty trying White that for Trump. so long. Trump. 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 <laughs> yeah, we said Trump too many times. It never happened. No, it's well, like we have to do a category. We need to do a category. Category. That would be good. Who so was Kat, the other one besides Betty White? We had somebody else we talked yeah, about. This oh, we had several. oh, we've had several. Yeah, but I can't remember any of them. Well, yeah, I think you just think Peggy, we had several. She's walking around the guilt lady. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kat. So what do you got for us? And it, it, hopefully it's going to Canava Reeves too. Well, you know, I think a lot of you thought I was kidding last week when I mentioned that I happened to celebrate Wickmas, but the shirt tells you Oh no, Mary oh, Wickmas. Wow. That Wickmas. I actually do celebrate Wickmas. Thank you very kindly. I don't know so what that is. So today we are having a very festive trivia. Oh, no. <laughs> Hang on, Kat. My festive attire. You have right, to describe, to, you need to tell Susan what it means. She doesn't see the 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 connection between Keanu Reeves and Wickmas. John Wick. Did she not watch trivia last week? Well, I was there. <laughs> right. So you so, should know. So John Wick is one of the people he played in a he I saw when I was fly, flying on the plane home, I saw like six of these John Wick stories. I didn't click well, on there's any. There's only of them. been four. Well, they, they were <laughs> they look like there were six. They're on my screen and I just said, "Oh, whatever. It's that Kanano Weaves guy." And so I just kept passing them. But I did see them. Good choice. <laughs> so Wick, They're okay. Excellent movies. Thank you very kindly. Okay, so it's one character. Okay. What, yeah, John Wick um, is the name of a character. That's the guy who makes Kanata candles Reeves. on the North Pole. And sure, he, that's how you want to okay, say. <laughs> and, and he gets a red candy red Glock. Okay, got it. No, like Keanu Reeves actually got the, the Glock in okay, real life. So it wasn't in the movie. No, the Glock was not in the movie. Okay. But he does all of his own weapons work in the movies. So, so he doesn't play Santa Claus? No, he plays an assassin that gives out toys no he doesn't <laughs> give out guns does he give out no. cookies does he eat cookies he gives out bullets justice he goes justice. down the chimney he has flying reindeer okay he, he, he gives out gold coins he may or may not eat cookies all right go ahead There's nothing this, to do with christmas this is going to be a great category i can't wait go ahead what is your category right. called well it's just a festive category oh okay shall i mute everybody should i be that yes. cool i would you would. <laughs> I suggest it. <laughs> I don't know how to mute everybody. So we're not calling it festive wickmas. We're calling it. No, no. It's just a festive category. Okay. Cat- okay. Festive Look trivia. Festivus for the rest of us. Oh, yeah, that's so clever. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, I can't figure out how to mute everybody. All right. Well, everybody be really quiet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so question one. This holiday has British origins celebrated on December 26th. It is shockingly not about appeasing cats. What's the name of the holiday? Susan already looks confused. This is not good. Oh no, I'm looking, I'm no, I'm looking at a different screen. I'm trying to copy the questions over. I will be confused in a minute, don't worry. 
Question two. Which song composed in 1857 was supposed to be a Thanksgiving song, but is now traditionally sung around Christmas time? Question three. The original Santa Claus was a small elf. What decade did he transform into being the old man in a red suit that we know today? Plus or minus? <laughs> it's a whole decade. <laughs> no plus or minus. Yeah, it but there's a been decade. a whole bunch of decades. The year she's, plus or minus five. She's not she's not feeling very festive, y'all. Okay, Look, y'all, if nobody gets it, we can talk. But honestly, okay. somebody's gonna get this. Okay. According to Rotten Tomatoes, what is the number one Christmas movie of all time? Ooh. There's going to be some fighting on this one. We're going to be duking it out. <laughs> yeah, but that which is why I had to go with Rotten Tomatoes answer. Yeah, I'm glad you added that in there. Krampusnacht is similar to the Naughty and Nice list, but is way more sinister. I like it. Um, Krampusnacht is native to which country? Hmm. Oh, come on, cut and paste. There we go. On December 25, 2014, Neil deGrasse Tyson tweeted, on this day long ago, a child was born who by age 30 would transform the world. Happy birthday, blank. Finish the quote. To mm. whom was he wishing a happy birthday? I remember seeing this and I don't remember the name. <laughs> Someone that was dead. Yeah. 2014. Hmm. Which seven day long cultural holiday is an alternative to Christmas? Okay. You love them. You know them. Number eight. In which country is it customary to eat cheese during Hanukkah? Hmm. Number nine. I love this one. In Scotland, singing Old Lang Syne is a central part of Hogmanay, which I didn't think any of you would know, which is why I phrased it up like this. Um, Hogmanay is the Scottish New Year's Eve celebration. What year, plus or minus five, see, I can be generous, did it become popular to ring in the new year with this song in North America? Oh my gosh. Can we get decades on this? Plus or minus decades? That's a plus or minus five. Oh my God. <laughs> there is no God, but that's okay. You can call me what you oh. like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> This huge and vicious beast from Icelandic Christmas folklore is said to lurk in the snowy countryside and eat people that do not receive any new clothing to wear before Christmas Eve. What is the name of this creature? Wait, do they eat them because they don't buy any new clothing? Because they're not given new clothing. Yes, they get eaten. They're not given new clothing, so they're eaten. Okay. Yes. Do no like going to, into Christmas in family old clothes. Underwear? Sorry? Is it probably the only place where kids are happy to get underwear? For yeah, so I was going to say, make sure everybody gets <laughs> socks and underwear or this beast is going to eat them. Okay. Does anybody have any questions before I throw you to your rooms? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's, no, I'm in the Christmas that is a no. Thank you so much. All right. <laughs> I... Uh, the horror that uh, was with it. What is Hi, it? Hi, team. Uh, I, I just can't remember. Does anybody know any of these? Uh -oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Where are Number we at? one is Boxing Day. Oh, oh, I get it. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm not sure about number two. 
which song composed in 1857 was supposed to be a Thanksgiving song, but it's now um, Yeah, eighteen fifty seven, so oh, before the Civil back. War. Hmm? We can come back to that. Number three is the nineteen thirties. Is that when he gained Coke. weight? Yeah, oh, no, that's when no, Coca Coke Santa Claus is based on the colors of the Coca Cola campaign. Coca Cola, yeah, yeah. Cola that's right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. My mom had a tin from the thirties with his image and stuff on it. Okay. Um, number four, my guess is Elf. Just really, everybody loves that movie. No, no, no. It's got to be um, the the one where the guy was going to kill himself. Um, it's, a wonderful it's a wonderful life. It's a wonderful life. life yeah. You think so? Okay. Oh, That's the obvious answer. Yeah, but the I don't know. Rotten Tomatoes. Mm. I don't know much about Rotten Tomatoes. Okay. I haven't seen that movie. Number five is Germany. Sad. Yes. Krampus is German. Yeah, I'm that's true. Do Krampus holiday. You sure it is an Austrian? No, but it's just German. Okay. It's German. That's where he originated from. Number six is Isaac Newton. Oh, because we have, uh, you can good. celebrate Newton Mass instead of Christ Mass. It's a Newton Mass. We've done Newton Mass uh, parties. Oh, I was thinking awesome. of Einstein, but yeah, okay. Newton. Number seven. I no, Kwanzaa. That was number six. Was um, it's Sir Isaac Newton? Are you he sure? He invented calculus. Yes, I'm yeah, totally I do. Sure. Yeah. It is Sir Isaac Newton. I've had Listen, I've seen Jesus is the reason for the season. Yeah. It's it's Newton. No, I thought I thought it was uh what's his name? Um the science communicator. Sagan? Sagan? Sagan, yeah. Uh, no, it's it's yeah, I, I think it's Newton. Newton. Oh, Newton, okay. trust me. Well, okay. Trust me. You think it's Kwanzaa? I think it's Kwanzaa. Because it's a seven day culture, but it, Han Hanukkah is not a cultural holiday, it's a religious holiday. Okay, Good but point. Kwanzaa has candles just like it. Yeah, interesting. Hey. Yeah, that makes sense. Eat yeah. cheese during Hanukkah in what country? Yeah, what country? Israel, <laughs> Wisconsin. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a country. Country, the US, then? No, no. Mark, do you know what country it's customary to eat cheese during Hanukkah? Israel? Probably Mark? Australia. No. You think Mark Australia? Says Denmark? No. no. Are you guessing or basing that on something? I don't know. I just... I it could be. I would even Switzerland or France because they're known for cheese. I mean, Both really good cheese. guesses, yeah. Mm -hmm. They eat cheese yeah. around. Yeah, that's true. They eat a lot of cheese. I don't know. Okay, so moving on. All, 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 what is it? Old Lang Syne. Old, all the things. Okay. What year did it become popular to ring in the new year with it? 40s? Nice. Or older? I was going to say before the 60s and 50s for sure. So, so do we want to go 1945 so we get the whole decade? Well, sure. do you think Not. it might have been before then you're that? in the war, right? Yeah. Mm. Um. Oh, it's in Scotland. Scottish New Year's Festival. Maybe that's when it happened. It got passed along because of World War II. Oh, so um, I know there was like a big Scottish diaspora near the turn of the century. So maybe it came oh, over early 1890s? like 1905. Yeah, maybe. That's a really good idea that maybe it came with the Scottish. So do we want to do 1905 or 1910 to get? 1905 makes more sense because it splits the difference between 1900 and 19. Yeah. Okay, let's go with 1905. Oh, wow. That's that's a good guess, Kyle. Number and 10, I saw the movie that's saw based this? on this. Yeah, it's a it's a horror movie. And uh, it was in the Icelandic language, but they. Is they this the one with it. the troll? Is like it's a troll. Yeah, it was. They they uh, they were doing some illegal things with uh, yeah. reindeer, trying to get money and that. And is it a cartoon? It no no no. no. It was it was it was uh, live action, and it was it was a comedy. 
but it was also like a horror comedy kind of thing. So could his name been George? No. no. How are we supposed to know his name? Uh, there there was a name to it. Could it but... be the Bijorn? B B J O R N the Bijorn? Sure, why not? That's yeah. just as just it's as good as anything else. Bijorn? Yeah, it's okay. Oh. All right. Yeah. So we need um two. eight and two. Uh and four. No, we put four, it's a wonderful life. So you you're gonna go with it's a wonder okay. Yeah. Which I think is a depressing Christmas movie, but yeah. I I haven't seen it for years. It is really if, sad. If, if, it, if it's a wonderful life, it's considered an acceptable Christmas movie since it's about some guy wanting to kill himself. Die Hard is amazing Christmas movie. <laughs> yeah. Leo like that. Okay, what song composed in 1957 was supposed to be a Thanksgiving song, but it's now traditionally sung around Christmas time. So it would be something that doesn't have the word Christmas in it. So it wouldn't be like Dreaming of a White Christmas. It would be... Right. Mm, could it be Melagaliki Makai? No. no. That's that's how was well, Thursday Christmas? Sorry. <laughs> uh, that's I like, from the like Hawaii 16. wasn't even part of the US for another hundred years. <laughs> that would be Melagaliki Maka. Thank you on so many levels. You're right. Yeah. Um so Deborah's here. I'm gonna wait and put her. Should I put her? Could on? it be Carol of the Bells? Put her into room number one in here because I won't be here. Yeah, after. you're going to leave early, but so is yeah. Adrian is going to be leaving early. Early. Um, I'm looking here. Could it be Carol of the Bells or? Yeah. I'm going to move her to four. Okay, now there's Christmas in there. Sorry. Um, we did like a fiction or. Yeah, na, picture na, na, game at work na, na, for Christmas Carol. Na, na, na. And I, the atheist, they were all classical Christian hymns. Uh -huh. I was the only one that could guess them. And I was like, it's really <laughs> bad that the atheist knows all these things. Oh, well, that's true. Commonly, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Just like the Bible. The atheists yeah. know more mm -hmm. about the Bible than the Christians do. Yeah. How are you guys doing uh, for time? Um, um, We've got a couple more, but I think there. the two we've got a debate are the ones that are going to be kind of hard hey uh rob palmer needs help in room two okay i'm on my way so let's see okay where, where are we yeah, at here yeah. I, I had to move screens okay so let's see it'd be like a classical song maybe. okay a song that has nothing to do with christmas and it could but it's sung at christmas time yeah be be like a bit faith, jingle faith bell jingle bell yeah. jingle bell rock jingle bell that would definitely what not be it. What if it's the Nutcracker? That's how did, interesting. Yeah. How does the Nutcracker go? Dun, 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 dun. Dun, but is it? Dun, 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 is there words? Let's call the Mountain King. Yes. Because, <laughs> is there words? Because you know, it says I don't it's sung. Think there's words. any Nutcracker words? Yeah, because it says it's there sung. Are. Oh, what if it's now sung? What about chestnuts roasting on an open fire? Chestnuts Ooh, on that's an open fire. Cross nipping at your nose. Nose. Um, you will tie. Uh, no. What about Merry Christmas? No, it says what Merry about Jingle Christmas? Bells. Jingle Bell, Jingle Bell. Dashing through the bell. snow in a one horse open sleigh. Or the field we go. Definitely is. Bells all the way. Bells on bobtail ring. Making spirits bright. What fun it is to slide and sing and sing song tonight. Oh, there's nothing about Christmas and Jingle Bell. Yeah, but it's a lot about <laughs> snow. And and snow wasn't a big deal at Thanksgiving. Yeah. Well, what if it's in Canada? What if you're out in the Midwest? Like, Wait, the hold on. Is this a Canadian Thanksgiving or American Thanksgiving? Ah, it's an American song. Oh. Thank you, Romero. You're right. It wouldn't be a Thanksgiving song. if It, it wouldn't be Canadian if it was Thanksgiving. Well, remember, hold on. It could hold be. On. Remember, we didn't like Thanksgiving wasn't a thing until like. 1865. Yeah. 1864. Let's go with Jingle Bells. Jingle Bell, Jingle Bell, Jingle Bell. Rock. And what we're assuming jingle that Thanksgiving's bell, always taking place five, at the fourth five, Saturday. Five, or for, right. For right. Saturday Good point. Now. Bells then we didn't thing. we didn't schedule an actual day for thanksgiving until like uh fdr so let's go with jingle bells let's go with jingle bells i like it 
Yeah, I like it too. Riding on a one horse, say. So the song I was singing is not Jingle Bells, right? Mine's Jingle, Jingle Bell Rock. That's Jingle Bell Rock. No. Yeah, that's a yeah, little that's too Jingle modern. Bell Rock. Yeah. And that that's was more back modern. in the 1970s. Yeah, okay. So could you? Yeah. Yeah. Jingle Horse, pick up your feet. So you think it's Jingle Bells? I think it's Jingle Bells. It's a strong case for that. I'm I'm leaning towards something else, but oh, you're okay. always wrong with these. We're not trusting you. Yeah, that's it's true. Don't intuition trust me. Has I'm just thinking that it's head. got too much snow in it for it to yeah. be Thanksgiving. But remember, remember, thanks. There was not a date for Thanksgiving until um like FDR set one. It was set at random times. It wasn't even recognized as a national holiday for the longest time. Well, they wouldn't have had Thanksgiving or Christmas time. But it could have been yeah. snowing because remember pilgrims up in like New England. Like I'm, uh, I'm sorry. Um, There's it was composed in 1857. You are not oh, pilgrims. For you are Kyle, but did it snow for you, Vincent? You know, but, in in November. But it makes me feel in like November. Oh, of course. Thanksgiving is like uh, you're celebrating the harvest. Yeah, so like it'd be before, something harvesty. Yeah, no. What's a yeah. harvesty song? And in so fact, I think like you might be like us. going through the snow in a one horse open sleigh or the fields we go, laughing all the way. Ha ha. <laughs> yes, it's, it's all about like we're just riding a horse because the horse don't have to work anymore, plowing the field. The harvest is over. We're celebrating. But it's snow. Thanksgiving for us was in over. October. Okay, let's go to the other question because we don't have the. Right, what, 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 where do Jews eat a lot of cheese on Hanukkah? Where do people eat cheese on Hanukkah? Yeah, that one, I don't know because then they got the no meat because kosher. So can you can't they eat meat it. and cheese at the same time. No cheeseburgers for no uh uh right uh, different Maybe. plates too. Well let's let's make <laughs> yeah it. so different they dishwashers in some yep. places. Yep. They eat you have to kosher dishwasher and your non-kosher dish. Oh my god, it's weird. Okay, 58 seconds. I guess we only have one, uh, one minute. Let's uh pick uh Austria. You sure? What about India? Germany. India. That's interesting. Yeah, there's, a, there's a group of Jews in India. I read a book on them. Do they celebrate Hanukkah? I think they do. I don't know. I'm not going to vote in this one because I have Austria? no idea. Or Germany? We've know. already picked Germany for something. I, I would think I would think Austria. Why Austria? I don't know. It's so just cheese. Take Austria. Austria. Go with Austria. There's, there's we'll go with there's Vincent. We trust you. Well, there was until Europe. there was until World War II. Oh yeah. They didn't. They didn't do so well in Austria in, in the World War II. But okay. Jingle the the now I have that Jingle Bell song in my head. Thanks, guys. Jingle bells. I'm gonna Google it. Where nobody wanted to kill me at the end. Oh, I understood, but I didn't know a single one. I didn't even know who he was. That was fun. I'm glad it wasn't about uh, weakness. That was hard. Holy it may God. have been as well. A well, bit yeah, weakness. it was. It I was might different. have actually done better on a Wickmas category. <laughs> yeah. So, so to my team, are we are we changing the answer to number two or not? Yeah, I'll just leave it. I might as well leave okay. it. Was number two All the right. one that you guys were stuck on? Yeah. Because we had a lot of problem with that too, and now it's stuck in my head. I just want y'all to know, songs. Team One. I was right about number two. I just checked Wikipedia. <gasps> no, and the no, answer no. is oh. to me in my illustrious knowledge. <laughs> really, I am shocked. I'm I, shocked. I just oh. you asked me right before we lost time, Ben. You asked me what the name of it is. That's the name of it. Oh, okay. Because I think we had gone back and forth between a couple different ones at the end there. So but I guess we're leaving what we had. Okay, we can change it. Okay. Go ahead, Cat. All right, we ready for answers? I'm going to change it on Wikipedia right now so that we... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going there right now. Don't you that's, dare. That's how Susan wins. Huh? I never win. I never get to it. I hope everybody got the first one right. I tried to start off nice and easy. The answer is Boxing Day. Yay! Hey. Word Still first. celebrated in Canada and other countries, but I know it's not a big one in America. Um, it originated in the Middle Ages in the UK, and it's when all the collection boxes that have been kept in the church were distributed to the poor. So There's nothing to do with cardboard boxes for cats. <laughs> Even though we all know it should I be. thought that that was the day when the, uh, the, uh, the day when the servants 
were then get got their gifts because they uh, they were busy working on Christmas for the families. They that did kind of morph into it, um, but originally in the Middle Ages, it was when the collection boxes were given to the poor. Hmm. But then later, socialists. when you know, staff worked on Christmas, they got their gifts on Boxing Day because they were poor. <laughs> Yeah, so they couldn't celebrate Christmas because they were poor. They just got left out, then they just got the leftovers. Pretty much. Well, they got lots the good sales. Debate. Lots of debate over the song. Faith, I hope you got it right for our team. The answer is Jingle Bell. Oh, oh damn, yeah. Ben. We should have changed it. We could have. We it was written changed in 1857 at a tavern in Medford, Massachusetts. And the song was originally titled The One mm -hmm. Horse Open Sleigh. It was published under that oh, name in September we, of 1857. We we almost got this. If we could come up with a title. The correct title. You're singing it, huh? Uh, were you was, one horse open slaying it? Because I will again. Yeah. To Grandma's house we go. But what no. did you say? <laughs> What'd you call it? <laughs> What'd you call it? Song. We called it sleigh bells. <laughs> Oh, that's not it. Play bells is another song. Too. Play bells is different. Yeah. Play bells ring. Are we listening? Oh, are you listening? Yeah, that's sleigh bells. Well, we weren't thinking of that song. We we're thinking of the the sleigh song going to the grandma's house. Too bad. So sad. <laughs> so what, I'm curious what other people put. <laughs> what did other people put? Chestnuts Jingle roasting bells. on an open fire. Chestnuts roasting on an open that, fire has that, has Christmas in it, doesn't it? Over the river and through the woods is what we thought. Oh, that's going to the house. Yeah. Do people sing right that at Christmas gone. time? <laughs> Over the rivers and through the woods and through the woods house we go. Yeah. Press <laughs> yeah. away to carry the sleigh through the white and drifting snow. That's the right song. That's the yeah. jingle bells is the chorus. Yeah. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle so bell. So if we knew the, the song. Number three. We the wrong title. <laughs> yeah, you get the wrong, wrong title. You yeah. have to answer correct. <laughs> no, Go ahead. Take sorry. the point, Cindy. It's, it's, All right. it's best All right, for the rest of us. Nobody uh, will know. Who's, who's going to be the scorekeeper? We got that one. <laughs> we got that one. <laughs> okay. It was either Alan or, or Ron. So well, we wait a minute. That wait, that's not what we finally ended up writing down. Which oh, right now oh. you're screwed. Because remember, we're going back and forth between that and Silent Night, and the last thing oh we had was God, Silent, Silent Night. Silent Night. Oh, you are no, mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, how would oh, you oh, put oh, Silent oh, Night oh, as a Thanksgiving song? Number three. Number three. Number three. The name yeah. of the other one. Mm -hmm. Anyways, number Plus, three. After eating the big meal at Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. everyone goes catatonic and goes to no. sleep. There you go. <laughs> Hey, number three, lots of debate over this. I'm not sure if anyone got it right, but it was during a 1930s Coca-Cola ad that oh. Santa became oh. the big guy in the red velvet suit. Yep, 1930s. Well, maybe that's why he could Good go job, down team. the chimney. If you just said the 30s, out. would that count? Because that yeah, was a decade. decade. I, I said the decade, so. Okay. We, well, we knew it was, was the Coke ad, but we didn't get the right years. Oh, boo. Now. Lots of have debate, point? lots of conversation. Yes, you can have the point. Why not? <laughs> no. Some oh, people give it. thought don't it be might generous. be a Christmas story. No. The answer to number four. Those a of you Christmas who have not seen story. it, you now have homework. But the a answer Christmas. is actually, it's a wonderful life. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Good job, Jane. Not Those Charlie are... Brown's Christmas. No. Sadly, no. no. That would have been my answer. I'd much rather watch it. Everybody that was going to be watch mine, this. but, but I wasn't a... going to argue with Carl. But that's yeah. a TV that's show. That's more about movie. movies than me. Yeah, it's that's... a wonderful life. Is a terrific movie. Actually, it really is. It's even though he's trying to enliven himself, but it's really a good movie. <laughs> I think you all know that Krampusnacht, which I can't say because my mouth is really dry right now, comes from Germany. Yep. Oh. Um, how could anything with that name not come from Germany? <laughs> it could be Austria. Well, I thought could maybe Austria. I thought maybe. Told you it was really. Germany. I just wanted to get Krampus in on the list because he's always forgotten. And he's yeah, I know, just poor computer. thing. He just feels so bad. No, there are a lot of movies. There are a lot of movies about Krampus. I yeah. know he's so cool. Oh, I got a little. Oh, oh, no, you can't see him. I heard him. My cat, Bigfoot, is somewhere behind me. <laughs> So, who was Neil deGrasse Tyson wishing a happy birthday to? Apple guy. Isaac Newton. Isaac Newton. 
Sir Isaac Mr. Newton, who was born December 25, 1642. And a fun fact, Sir Isaac Newton is my cousin. That's right. He's my second cousin, 12 times removed. We share great grandparents. His He's great everyone's is my cousin if you go back far enough. Wait, you figured that out? I did. Oh, my goodness. I've done Good my job, genealogy, Lee. man. Oh, that's so hilarious. You can also, if you don't celebrate Wickmas, you can celebrate Newton Miss. Thank you kindly. Did, that's did you check kin. if Keanu is also related to him? So then you can't, you guys can't get together? No, he's not at all related to him. And that's why, you know, he's my person. Oh, okay. That's good. Do you like that? <laughs> Do you like <laughs> apples? He loves yeah. apples and gravity. Oh, oh that's bigger. hilarious. Do we all know the alternate holiday to Christmas? We guessed. Kwanzaa. Oh no, no, we did no, we knew that was the cheese one we guessed on. Kwanzaa. Yeah, we got Kwanzaa. It celebrated December 26th to January 1. The cheese one. Lots of people hated me for the cheese one. I'm <laughs> sorry. Oh, how could you hate anybody who with cheese? But it's cheese and Hanukkah. And I mean we I, all I could that. argue it's every country. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but it's customary in Italy. Uh, Italy. Oh, oh we didn't even Italy. guess that. <laughs> For, for all the like five or six Jews in Italy. <laughs> so well done, that. Leonard. Leonard got it? Yep. yep. I, I logic did it. Oh, logic how did you use it? They ate a logic. lot of pizza with mozzarella on it. <laughs> well, I remembered something about ricotta cheese pancakes instead of potato pancakes. And ricotta um, cheese reminded me of Italy. Yeah. So there See, we go. You're awesome. That is pretty All right. Good. When did we start singing Old Lang Syne in North America? I did give a plus minus a five on this. And it was 1929. Damn. Yeah. All right. Very Canadian early. band leader Guy Lombardo helped make mm. a New Year's Eve tradition. The Coach version Alan, that we sing today was popularized years, by I was right. Guy Lombardo and the Royal Canadians. And oh, they Canadian. became such an institution in the US and internationally that by the time they settled in New York, um, two radio stations were vying for their services. So on New Year's Eve, 1929, Lombardo was signing off of CBS at midnight and then moving over to CB or NBC. And to close the gap, he played Old Lang Syne and it became a custom. It was played every oh. year from 1929 to 1976. And Variety Magazine said that Lombardo was the only Canadian to ever create an American tradition. That's, that's <laughs> interesting. Which is not true because so did Naismith. Right, good. like, but I thought it was a <laughs> yeah. cute quote. That is good really good. call, Rob, to to make it yeah. twenty five. Um, good call, Kyle on like our it. team said that he thought that it came from this that there was a huge infusion of of uh, Scottish people coming over to America and they probably brought the custom with them. But we tried well, to reason out it was wrong. Doing Hogmanay as well, and the first footers and everything else, and they tend not to do that. I don't know how alas, what you're talking about. Don't do a category in Scottish traditions I've never heard of. <laughs> Someone's Hogman writing it down right now, aren't you? Questions and stuff. Oh, geez. It's it's the Scottish New Year's Eve tradition. It's Hogmanay. Hogmanay. Do we all know the Icelandic creature that I spoke of? No. Uh, we called him I George. the movie. George. But I can't remember. People, who wrote this category? Cat. The Yule Cat did. Hey, <laughs> oh my God, I had it. That's the name? <laughs> I was convinced that I was guessing and making that up. Oh, wow. Oh, got it. Good guessing. We called him Bajorn. Wow. <laughs> hey, yeah. Susan. Uh -huh. Good job, Stephen. Where are you? Okay. Where am I? I'm in um, a hotel in at UCF, F, UCSF oh, Market. That's right. You're had treatment you. today. Yeah, so okay. we're... Mm -hmm. I just had lunch with Deborah too. Dinner with Deborah and Cindy last night. Mm -hmm. And Karen. And Karen. Yeah, but she's not here right now. And yeah. Karen and, and Robin. Yeah. We talked about you guys. Well, not that much. <laughs> Actually, we didn't. <laughs> not all of you, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle's name might have come up. Yeah, but we were talking about Skeptic Camp. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so we don't really talk about Kyle all that often. Just sometimes. <laughs> We want to mm. manifest him. We talk. We were about talking it. about Carolyn and, and Lee coming down also, and so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So good job. That was very interesting, that Kat. Thank you for coming up with that at the last minute. That's great. You're uh, welcome. It helps Happy me enough. in the puts me in the mood for the season because I'm I, I really want to be have a great Christmas this year. It's so different. 
not and I having made some flying spaghetti monsters. I have a so flying should... spaghetti monster in my tree at home. Very good. All right, Karen. Oh, and here comes Karen. So hey. let's do our let's do our categories. I'm gonna start at the end. Let me wait for Karen to get here so she yeah, can hear get, all the names. Get some scores in. I want to know how good everybody did. Oh, I know. Uh, thank, you, thank you again, Kat. Okay, for Susan. Over. Susan yeah, said we put it. Karen on our team. I think we're room five because we got two people who are there who always mess up, like me and um, <laughs> Alan. <laughs> Alan are always pretty bad, so you're gonna put Karen in our room. Ooh, Alan. Low score. Hi, uh, Karen. No, the lowest score is gonna get. get her. I just gave Deborah mm -hmm. to room four. So she got in here just in time. Okay, so Karen. Hi, Karen. I had lunch with dinner with Karen too. Oh, uh, don't you guys all be jealous? Okay, here we go. Good lord. I'm jealous. Good lord, another psychic. Six. Hey, that's pretty good. Uh, Trump said nobody would be a better president than me. We agree. We also had six. Uh -oh. That's awesome. And nobody's gonna get Karen if somebody doesn't get a really bad name. T so somebody might want to reduce their scores a little bit. <laughs> one no team name we ain't got no team name we don't need no team name i don't have to show you any stinking team name eight eight, eight but you can put a stamp for two and we'll take care of uh, <laughs> no nope, not allowed are the voyager one data glitches transforming it into v'ger we also got a six uh-oh uh-oh six, six and I'm gonna be. tesla's autopilot asleep at the wheel <laughs> we got seven <gasps> oh what we, do we do with karen oh, we okay. split her into three well carolyn okay. can i pick a name can i pick from a couple of names um maybe let me see if let me see who's leaving pen jane i leave Lee, rob yeah carolyn usually leaves but carolyn but we just put deborah over there vincent's going to leave and i think adrian's going to leave as well right yeah but they're vincent's in category one and that leaves kyle cat Faith and Romero, that should be fine. And Vincent's gonna leave. And Vincent, Vincent is not in one. Oh, yeah, he's in one. Yes, I am. Yeah, he's in one. Sure oh am. no, no, no. Sorry. I'm in two. <laughs> I'm in two. Sorry. Carolyn's gonna leave, but I just gave them Deborah. So it'll be Gail, Kevin, uh, Stephen, and Deborah. That should be fine. The last one, now, I don't know about Alan and Cindy not doing well. Come on now. Cindy, you guys aren't that bad, are you? And you've got Nikki. You got Kinnick. Kaniki over there. Kaniki. Kaniki and, and Rob. Oh, and Rob. Robin's going to be here too. All right. Um, so Karen, um, I want you to pick between these three. All right. You ready? I'm listening. Trump said nobody would be a better president than me. We agree. Okay, that's one. Or good lord, another psychic. Or are the Voyager one data glitches transforming it into Voyager? Voyager. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, got her with a Star Trek reference. Uh oh. <laughs> Karen. Dan, Dan, Dan. One of my favorite things to do at night is to lay there and imagine. Really? That's one of your favorite imagine. things to do? You got to finish that. Vija coming Only back going to destroy the Earth. What are you imagining? Just imagining She's... it. It's start. Yeah, imagining Voyager out there. Oh, oh that is pretty know. cool. And it's That's just cool. going along, gliding along. Yeah. That is imagining, kind of a nice thing. Imagining I'm Voyager. Yeah. That is a nice sentiment. I was going to say, you were imagining being on Star Trek, the original series that didn't have bathrooms. There's no bathrooms on that series. <laughs> they're, they're there on the blueprints. You just no, never showed it. They are not on the blueprints. That's, That's where Chekhov was when Khan body. showed up. No, we're not talking about bathrooms and spaceships, please. I do not want to spend uh, the whole weekend. Yeah, you're going to ruin my category. In space, thank you. <laughs> you're going to ruin my category. Kevin, Kevin's going to talk about that. Okay, so Rob. Rob there you are. He's up are there. Are we the ready? Do I have my... Uh, oh, he's here? going to be death, or it's going to be about horses or lightning. So, yeah, so which horseman is this? Does anyone know? It's death. Person? Looks like death. Horseman of the apocalypse. Well, it's one of them. It is actually oh. pestilence. So I'm bringing this down from Christmas. We're going to talk about plagues and pestilence. Oh, oh, yay! A oh, cheery. <laughs> oh God, we're going to have to have a category in kittens after this. <laughs> what? Okay. Who, who's you muting everybody? This. Jamie's not. He's got the muting power. <laughs> Nobody is. Yeah, where's Jamie? <laughs> That's him riding the horse. <laughs> <laughs> He's picking up his family at the airport. So who knows? All the answers are going to be Jamie. With the horse. Five, six, <laughs> seven, eight, nine, okay. Ten. okay, muting. Three, two, one.
Okay, okay. All right, number one. What disease was identified in the mummified remains of Pharaoh Ramses V? Number two. Which virus caused an epidemic in Southeast Asia in 2002 and three, affecting, among other places, China, Hong Kong, Singapore, Vietnam, and Taiwan? Rob, you're supposed to post the question and then we can read along. Number three. <laughs> there is a large range in the estimate of what percent of European population died from the Black Death during the 14th century. Give me the high end number and I'm going to give you I was going to say plus or minus 10%, but because of cat, I'll make it 1%. Just no, cat. just the cat's group, it's 1%. <laughs> no, 10%. Okay. Number four. The Spanish flu actually originated in Portugal. True or false? Number five. What was the name of the 19th century doctor who pioneered the use of clean water to prevent cholera in London? Hint, he did not do this while on the night watch. Number six. Homes of those quarantined during the Great Plague of London, circa 1665, which killed about 100,000 people, were branded with upside-down red crosses. True or false? Number seven. Queen Elizabeth I died of smallpox. True or false? Number eight. In what country did the first cholera pandemic begin in the 19th century? Number nine. What disease killed 20 to 25% of the Inca population? And we're just estimating that because, you know, they didn't keep good records. Number 10 is... On March 31st, 2020, the CDC projected that eventually 100 to 240,000 Americans would die of the new coronavirus. How many Americans have actually been estimated to have died from COVID-19 as of the latest I could find was of 426 of this year? And I will give you plus or minus 10%. Forgive my misspelling of actually. Well, actually. Are you, are you going to post, are you going to post all this? What are you talking? In the chat. I guess you're They're not looking all there. at the chat. Everything's there. Oh, so, I didn't know. It's not the first they time you've done that, Alan. Yeah, okay. I don't know how your computer's set up. Yeah, no, no. It's here. He has to open his eyes. Okay. Any <laughs> he has questions? To, he has to scroll down. <laughs> questions, questions, questions. No questions. And hearing no questions, you shall all go to your break rooms. Good luck. Oh, wow. Are there answers? There are masks. Oh. <laughs> Okay, Karen, I you're going. Why into am room... I joining room four instead of room one? You've got your powers still, Cat. You can move okay. yourself. So, Karen, what room did I say you were in? The. the she said our room. Major, our room. major, Voyager. Major, major. Yeah, which one is that? Is that two? two? Room okay. two. I've given up trying to name the rooms because they always change. I mean, when yeah. we come back. All right, you got Karen now. Oh, I'm going to Karen. Oh. I'm going there too. Thing, but. Until Rob said the thing about the poem, and then I thought, yeah, that's right. So, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Okay, so, hi, everybody. Hello. Hi. I, I know I know one, for you sure. For sure. I think okay. I know one. How do you guys, that how do you guys want to do two, this? That might be two that we know. <laughs> we both know this. I know, I know two. I think I know number one. Okay. okay. I don't okay. know. I think oh, it, I think it's smallpox. Really? Yep. That sounds good they to me. They think it went back that I far. I don't wow. think smallpox was around that early. I'm with Jane on smallpox, which I you also know, believe is the answer okay. to another Okay, well, question. whatever, all right. I, no, no, you know what? just two of us. We can vote. No, no, I vaguely think I remember hearing this because uh, I read a book on smallpox. And... Okay. Um, well, I, and I think I that think I did remember hearing that somewhere that it went way back, and they think that it is, that's is that why it was such a big deal is that they found it back then, and and they didn't think it went back that far potentially. 
<laughs> Possibly. Uh, okay, what was the 2000? Was that um, Ebola or what was that? Okay, Earth which virus, virus caused... Number two. Was it um, SARS? Time? SARS was Ooh. in... Um... Yeah, SARS. I remember yes. we, we worked on a Wikipedia yeah. page for this... And I know that SARS. there was SARS and there was SARS. Is good. SARS. Yes. Just SARS. Do we need anything specific or SARS? S A R S. No, I think it stands for something, but SARS should be enough. Yeah. I can't believe I knew that. Oh my God. That was so. Well, okay. We're not sure. Don't panic or anything. I might be wrong, but I I remember working on a Wikipedia page about something like that. I've heard as high as 50%. On number three? Yep. Our okay. To estimate of what percentage of the European population. I only um, know that it was about 20, 20, 25 million. So, but that, but I have no idea what the population was. So that's useless. Yeah. Well, I've heard as high as fifty percent because it absolutely shattered the, the whole economy. God, can you imagine fifty percent of the population dying? Wow. Do we want yeah. to shoot for right at 50 or do we want to put it at like 40 so it cover? I don't know. You hate that because then you'll 55? be like, oh, it's 51. 40, 45, say? All How right. about 51? Yeah, I, I, uh, I don't know if I go higher than 50. I just want to make sure that 46? we cover the lower end if we think it's. I mean, and I'm fine with 50. I'm just kind of because it says know, the high throwing end. Throwing stuff out there. So 50 sounds like a. Because 50 will get us. 40 to 60. I mean, that's yeah. not, that's a good range, right? We think that's good. I'm fine with that. Okay, okay. 50. Let's just leave it. Okay. Scary. Uh, that's scary. Spanish okay. flu. That's false. Yeah, it is false. Where did it end Actually, it originated Kansas. in Kansas. Kansas. Oh, that's right. Wow. What the heck? Yeah, it was at a military base. Yeah, it was oh, an weird. army base in Kansas. I do remember reading this book on the flu. This? Yeah. Okay. And it was this called is... the Spanish flu because they didn't have a moratorium in Spain on the, the news. They let it leak out in their newspapers, and they were the only ones reporting it. Uh, and that's mm -hmm. why it was called the Spanish flu. Everybody else okay. had it, but. So. Uh, Dr. Snow. Ooh, great. Was, Snow. He was light years ahead of his time. Nobody believed him, but. Uh, so what's the, he did not do this well on the night On the night watch. watch. What's that reference? His first name. No his first name was Sunny. Sunny Apparently. Snow. Apparently, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Really? Could it be Doctor Snow? You sure you got that well, right? Well, there was a Doctor Snow that in the 19th century mapped out where all the cholera was occurring in London, and he traced it back to a specific well that, and he had them shut down that well. And there was just one, one death that was outside of that area, and it turned out the woman who died, light didn't like the flavor of her local well, and would have people bring water from this well to her home. Wow! Oh no! And, and the only problem is, is the medical people at the time thought it was bad air, and nobody paid attention to him. And it wasn't until after his death when people went, "Wow." We, we should have, yeah. Yeah, we should have listened to this guy. He he had cholera figured out. Right, mm. but was this the guy? But is this the man who pioneered the use of clean water? Because snow doesn't make sense with the he did not do this while on the night shit watch. Well, I don't know. I don't know what the. He did not do this, this while on the night. Must, his name well, must have that could be the it. movie Night oh, Watch. Oh, no, John Snow on the Night Watch. Uh, like, yes, there you go. You. Thank you, Jane. Yeah, she yeah, made the connection. Yeah, we're good. Jane. Okay, we're all right. Okay, okay cool. You. Good job, Lee. And, I should have thought Jane. of that. I, well, no, I, I, actually, of I read this probably two or three weeks ago in a book. Oh. This guy was like a like a medical hero that uh, yeah everybody ignored. Yeah. Yeah. I don't okay. know why I didn't Question see that. Six. Good job on the connection, Jane. Yeah, that's very good. Okay. Uh, oh, Homes we, of these quarantined are the Great Red Great Plague of London, circa 1665. Yeah, oh, they have that fire the next year. Boy, it must have been awful. True. That sounds true to me. Which, yeah. 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 I could totally see it being true, true too. Yep. Yeah. And the fire was 1666. That wiped out tons of London. Can you imagine so, how awful that was? That's did Queen Elizabeth die of small? I do not no. think that Queen Elizabeth no. died of small. No, 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 she did not. She did have smallpox, but she's 
She lived. Yeah, she lived through it. She had some pox. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -mm. One of the reasons she had pancake makeup about a half inch thick. Yeah. Mm. Overall, I do not know. I do not know this number eight, but I think I would say India. Just because of a movie that I saw. <laughs> <laughs> Well, because I'm fine with that. Trans I'm, it transferred through, through I, yeah, water would, and ba and public bathing and communal bathing in the rivers and all that stuff. That makes I would sense. Go with, yeah, India makes sense. I'm India good with good. India. Yeah. Well, I plus, if it's I in know. a movie, sometimes they, you know, put stuff in movies that, yeah. you know, even in fictional movies, they'll put things that yeah. actually happen in it. Just So this is content. one of the two I knew. Okay. Smallpox. It does sound right. Inca? Smallpox. Oh. And the Aztecs as well. Smallpox. That does seem familiar too. Okay. okay. Um, how many actually died? Now I looked this up the other day. I know it's over a million. It's like one uh, yeah. or something. I know, yeah. Yeah. And again, this is just Americans, right? Not yeah. total. US nope. American. Yeah, I know right. it's over a million. Um, could it be 1.2 or something like that? What do you guys think? Is that high? Um, well, if we know it's over a million. Well, it's a little not... over a million. It's like 1.1, 1 .1, 1 1.2, something like that. I think 1.2 is a good number. It's yeah, like a, because then you're going minus 10%, you know. back to a million. Yeah, I'm okay with that. And I think I was looking it up to see how many they think worldwide. And I think worldwide it's seven, right? Seven million. Would you mind uh, speaking, uh, reading, uttering, uttering the, them yes. even though they're there written? Okay. No, Small pox, SARS, 50%, okay. false, Dr. Snow, true, false, India, smallpox, 1.2 million. You. You and guys who came think... up with a great team name. Yay, Star Trek and yes. <laughs> two of my favorite things, Voyager and Star Trek reference. Well, what's funny is Lee brought it up and, and Rob was like, What? I didn't even hear this article. I hadn't heard it until okay. Lee mentioned it, but then I looked it up. Yeah. Now I do have a question though. We have so many small poxes. Yeah. Lo I think something else got the Incas. Well, Rob might do that. He could be just that evil. Because I, be. well, I don't know. I don't. Well, I don't. Know. We only have two answers that say because well, there's a true false about smallpox, and then two of our answers or, or questions I, are smallpox. I think he read the Wikipedia page for smallpox, and well, said, and and it could was well, there were so many was, European. I mean, it could even be measles. It could be you know there were so many European what? diseases that. It Mark? killed the indigenous people. I don't know. I just think we have too many smallpox. Yeah, I, I I think that, but then I also wouldn't be surprised that Rob would have the same answer for multiple questions, too. I don't know. You guys done? You guys done? We, we done. Done. Whatever. Okay. I'm closing the room. Okay, do you feel strongly enough to propose changing the answer to something? Would you like to propose a different plague plague-esque? condition would rob have the same answer for multiple questions i can't see his face i can't read him <laughs> if you were psychic you could do it remotely <laughs> darn it yeah i don't i, think he, I don't know one way mark or the other thinks, so i'm mark fine thinks with the, what the, the team covid decides. numbers are 1.5 he thinks it's higher than that 1. high 2. that's what he said yeah I don't know. Maybe. Could be. Is he guessing or does he believe he read that and that he knows or right. knows that? 15 seconds. Well, we don't have time to change it, do we? I don't know what it would be unless you want to go like 1.3. Take 1.3. At least it's a little up a little bit. Are we okay 1. with 3. that team? Okay. Yep. Three. Yep. Okay. Up a little. 1.3 mil. Okay. All right. Good job, team. Huh. Hey, Rob, the first thing is Portugal is not a real country. What? Portugal is not a real country. Yes, it is. It's a part of Spain that stepped away because they loved cats so much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you insinuating I spelled something incorrectly? Yes, you I did. am. You did. You did. Not insinuating at all. I think it's Portugal. Portugal. 
That's I really weird because I actually remember clue. looking that up. That is weird. That I got it spelling wrong. schmelling. That was it like a, a 13th century spelling, maybe? I said, I don't know how to spell this. Let me look it up. And I thought I copy pasted it, but apparently I didn't. Okay. Right. That so was, we read. That was fun. I loved it. Uh, uh, disease and pestilence, pestilence. always fun. actually right, i knew so. i knew stuff so that was we'll fun. wait so, for you to come into our room so we can drill you on that quite spelling uh, so um let's see oh right. actually i want to say by the way this was my 101st category wow is, ooh, what? 101 you've yeah. done 101 categories 101 this was 101 okay here we go wow number one yeah. the disease that was found in Pharaoh Ramses V. It was, I think, uh, two teams I saw had this, at least smallpox. Yes. Yay. Oh. Yes. Yay, smallpox. Yay. We were we were thinking STD. Mm. Yeah, same here. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, sorry. All right, number two. Uh, this was uh, the first SARS, severe acute respiratory syndrome, if people forgot what that stands for. Not SARS-CoV-9. -CoV it's just SARS. Just good old fashioned SARS. Good old fashioned hey. SARS. Classic. Yeah. We recorded classic. this. SARS I got classic. That. I got that from a Wikipedia page entry we were working on Very when the good. coronavirus came out. Number People three. did not like new SARS, so they went back to SARS classic. <laughs> SARS classic. <laughs> so, number three. Um, so the estimate actually ranges from 30 to 60. So uh, I was looking for the number 60. So that means you had to say 54 to 66. Oh, perfect. What? Wow, it's that high. I said 55. Oh. Did our wait, team wait, explain, wait, Rob, explain what? that again. I said, explain. give me the high end number plus or minus 10%. And the, the current estimate is either 30 to 60%. So ah, I was looking you. for 60. And the range on that gives you 54 to 66. Thank you. Okay. Uh, we didn't get it. <laughs> Wait, then why why is thirty percent not work then? That's not the high end. Because that's not the high end. Well, it's then why does it? It was pretty high for the guys are? that were dead. Hundred <laughs> percent. Oh, them. never mind. You're doing six of sixty. Okay, never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is actually weird because I've used this as a lot to talk to people who think, oh, COVID is the worst plague that ever happened. And my recollection was a was a third of Europe, and it, that's probably was way more than that. Yeah. yeah. All right, so the Spanish flu actually did not originate in Portugal. It, it was in the U.S., so that is false. All right, good. It did originate in the U.S.? Kansas. Yeah. Well, it was yeah. first identified at Fort Riley. Yes, Romero's been rubbing it in. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Romero. <laughs> okay. Well, well, that's how it spreads when you rub it in. Yeah, that's how it oh. <laughs> All right, so... Uh, I visited three rooms and nobody got my uh, nobody got five that I saw and nor did they realize that the uh, night watch was a clue. Jane did. We got, we got it. it. Got it. Game of Thrones reference. All uh, right, I didn't see your room. Yeah, so it's John Snow who was in oh. Game of Thrones on the night oh, watch. That night watch. Okay. I thought yeah, you might didn't... have been making a Discworld reference. Okay. We, we had the right answer, thanks to Lee, but we're like, wait, we were worried about that answer because we weren't seeing the connection. And then Jane was all like, oh, Game of Thrones. We're like, oh, okay, we're good. Oh, <laughs> a team number effort. six so I, I two teams at least got it right for the wrong reason uh so they were crosses they just weren't upside down so it is false uh, wait, I find that a little uh, weird that they put crosses on uh, people's houses but okay whatever hold your team <laughs> um like Queen partially the first, incorrect answers uh did not die of smallpox, but she was lucky because she caught it and survived it when 30%, there was a 30% death rate among adults at the time. Okay. Uh, the queen died at 69 of old age. And I heard when, that, when that was old age. Yes. <laughs> and uh, number eight, I heard a bunch of teams get this correct. Uh, India is where the first. Oh, no. I almost said that. That makes sense. And uh, also, uh, number nine, people thought I might have done this. The answer to number nine is C, number one, smallpox. Yeah. Oh. oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it's the same answer. Sometimes it's the same answer. Oh, there were a lot of these that could have been smallpox, by the way. That's a freaking deadly thing. All right. And the numbers for the U.S. death as of April were estimated to be 
I'm going to actually put this in the chat first because you might you guys are going to have to see the number you put down. 1,130,662. Uh, see what? 1,130,662. Oh, that's why we said. Oh, that. and we, we guessed 1,017,595. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, yeah, sure you did. All right. Huh. Answers are going in the chat. You're on now. mute, Susan. Sorry, everybody. We changed yeah. our answer. I'm we, sorry. We had the correct answer, but oh. then we changed it. Mark, Mark said he thought it was 1.5. So we changed it to 1.3. Huh. Huh. Well, that's nice to know that less people died than we thought. <laughs> you were way less than we thought. Yeah. What you did were. you put? We had two. Mm -hmm. I thought they'd broken two million. I don't know why I thought uh... that. What was it worldwide? Is I thought I saw a number of seven million. Yeah, so I didn't do that because the numbers are less. You know, Accurate. some countries didn't count it very well, like India, who was burning people in the streets, and said, "Oh, nobody died in the town." You know, so I didn't want to do that because it would have been more of a wild guess, I think. Very good, good category, depressing, but good category. Yeah, very right. jolly. Yay, smallpox. Yay, smallpox and pestilence. <laughs> it's a God, that just makes my day. Oh, okay. death and grief. And if we would just said smallpox for every answer, we would have got. And 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 this is like we for, for better. Gwyneth, somebody needs to send this segment to Gwyneth Paltrow, who famously said, "Nothing that's natural can harm you." <laughs> uh, right. All right, you guys. So, good lord, another psychic. Four. Ah. <gasps> uh, um. Trump said nobody would get be a better president than me. We agree. Five. Hmm. Are the Voyager one data glitches transforming it into V'ger? Seven. Yay! Aww. Small box. <laughs> <laughs> Tesla's autopilot is asleep at the wheel. We We're could have had to... six, but we ended up, I think, with three. <laughs> I, oh, I have no. two. Ooh. I have two. I have. We only got number five and number seven. Wow! No. How'd you do so awesome? No, we got false for, and and we got John Snow. Which two? What, which what would which one did we, we got get? SARS, John Snow, and number seven. Oh, okay, thank you. Wow, that's I was so awful. depressed by this category, I couldn't count. <laughs> and again, apologies to Ramiro. I learned something new today. Really? What did he tell yeah, you? He I'm knew it was the sorry. USA, and we're like, no, he even knew the state, yeah. and then he pulled up Wikipedia. He's like, I told you so, and I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that's that's how you talk. Okay, team yeah. name. Well, I I'm sorry. Anyways, sorry. Okay, team name. We ain't got no team name. What do you get? Seven. Uh, wow. So some of those questions were just that hard that we couldn't get over. Nobody got higher than seven. That was good. No, that was a, that was a good category, Rob. I I read. I don't know why I'm fascinated with these things. I've read several books on this kind of stuff over yeah. the years. The book on the flu, and I've read books on smallpox. And Janine, Janine was saying she had a book on the subject, right, Janine? Who, where was that book from? Uh, which which book? I thought I you were saying several. something about plagues. Yeah, I have one. Oh, on oh, oh, that was Mark Crisplet's dystopian oh, yeah. fiction that I just read, uh, Skeptics in the Pub, Cholera. And... Uh, it takes place in Portland in 2019. Ah, okay. I've it's got a, his books. I have, but it's read a good yet. book. It's good. Yeah, very good. He's he's a good guy too. All right, yes. so very good. So let's do um a photo. I can't. Can I take it? Let me see. I do. We drop people off. Adrian, are you there? Our giggler isn't going to show up for the picture okay so here we go everybody look at the camera give me a nice expression okay one two three mark mark says he could be naked in the background so i missed him <laughs> <laughs> december 14th 17th 14th they, th they thought that was funny mark I think I think several people were rooting for that to happen. All right, yeah, five minutes bring on the show, Mark. Come on, <laughs> <laughs> right. he, he's in bed now. <laughs> it's good to see everybody. Sorry, Bye, I didn't Vincent. get my category, but that's right. That's Hi, right. Take care, Vincent. Take care. Keep 
keep healing. I can't. Bye, everybody. Are you coming along well? Uh, it itches, but oh, yeah. you know, people said that if it itches, it's healing. So <laughs> yes, yes. There we go. Yeah. Yes. So that's good. Well, take All care. Right. You too. Good night. Thank uh -huh. you. Okay. Bye bye. That was. We just finished round two. Oh, I, I had a dad joke for Vincent. I just missed them. Well, tell us because he'll, he'll watch why, the why, uh, he'll watch the video. Why can't you hear a pterodactyl go to the bathroom? Listen, we do because the P is silent. That's correct. <laughs> Excellent. And four and bonus. And then we do announcements. Oh, they can hear me talking. We can. <laughs> no, we can't. <laughs> That's quite a picture, Rob Scott. Pestilence. Right. Yep. No, actually, I wonder about uh, Queen Elizabeth dying at 69 of old age. I mean, they put so much lead-based makeup. I uh, <laughs> I don't think, I think it was probably lead poisoning. They did. Time for a Wikipedia article, Lee, about the conspiracy. Oh, okay. Of, of her actually dying from lead-based paint. Really? Okay. No, I think you need to write it. Get it out there. <laughs> no, thank you. First, you have to get it published in uh, uh, some reputable journal. Yeah. Well, let's see if we can convince Stephen Hupp to write an article. National Enquirer. Publish it. Yeah. Oh, but, yeah, yeah. There we go. But Gee, we have I, enough I trouble can be getting... every grocery store duck out one. Yeah. <laughs> we have enough trouble getting Skeptical Enquirer um, accepted as a reputable journal. We don't get an excuse to yank it out. Yeah. May not uh, may not be the best approach. Yeah. Actually, the skeptical inquirer. I am so proud of that. That um, Professor Jerry Coyne, when they accepted his, when he was turned down by most scientific um, publications because he dared, to, you know, say that. Science should be merit based and not as political as it seems to be now. It's a great article, and one journal and they, or another kept turning it down. And when they found out that Skeptical Inquirer was going to publish it, yep, um, they went, "Okay, fine, we'll publish it." And he went, "No, yeah, <laughs> no, I." Uh, that was very nice of him. Yeah, yep. and I, I love his books, and plus, I don't know, I don't know if you read his daily stuff, but he uh, he writes some just some great blogs. And just it's he, hilarious. Apparently, he thinks that evolution is true. Yeah, gee, you know, he even he even wrote a book about that. Yeah, it's like the and name of his that, blog uh, or something. Yeah, yeah, faith versus religion. Yeah. Can I... <laughs> But no, he's a fascinating guy, and I love I love his stuff on, uh, you know, er everything from uh, cowboy boots to his latest meals when he visited Paris, and uh, and he got stuff on politics, and you know, just a just a brilliant mind, kind of a kind of a Renaissance man knows a little bit about everything, and he's modest enough. Not to write about everything. <laughs> oh, plus, I like him. He's actually, uh, I even sent him pictures of my cats, and he, uh, he <laughs> a couple of my cats are, are got on his website. Yeah. Have you met him? 
Never met him. I would really love to. I, uh, yeah, I've I know seen occasionally he comes out to UC Davis because he did a lot of his, uh, I guess, postgraduate work out here. And he has uh -huh. a lot of friends in Davis. And so I'm just hoping one of these times when he comes out this way, I'd get a chance to meet him. I'm trying to remember which conference it was, but I met him at a at a one conference. Of the nice, nice guy. He was at one of the amazing yeah. meetings. Yeah, but I'm not sure I saw him at that one. Hmm. I think it may have been Imagine No Religion up in Toronto. Who are we talking about? Jerry Coyne. Coyne. Oh, he's a sweetheart. And yes, he's been at INRs. Yeah. Pat, I'm glad to see that your TV is still on fire. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, you know, when I'm doing the cut and paste, I need like a solid surface. So I had to move to the table and then like moved over there. And then I'm like, no, this is comfier. But then they don't get the fire. So there. Yeah. Now well, thank you. It. We appreciate that. Oh, there's my boyfriend. See, he's just stoking the fire. <laughs> <laughs> he exists. He's, that's his arm right there. He yeah. exists. Definitely Canadian. Nice, uh, nice plaid old plaid. Nice plaid. plaid. <laughs> right? He's got I his blue checks on. I saw a TV show where Keanu Reeves was buying that shirt. <laughs> yeah, I put it, I'm putting it together. Well, I could have done a Keanu 2 category for you all, but I pretty much think I would have been banned for life if I did that to you. So. <laughs> I am sad that I missed the Keanu category, so you will have to do another one. Oh, well, you can always watch, watch the video. The video. Oh, look yeah, it up in the spreadsheet good. first, Ben. <laughs> yeah. Watch the video and then tell me if you want me to do another. Although I was thinking about doing a really simple, like, just true or false. Everything you do, true or false, yes or no. Then you might not hate me so much. <laughs> Hello, everybody. We're back and we're back. Let me put my blanket back on me. Here we go. Okay. Ben, some, of, some of them were a little more difficult than you would have expected. Like like in John Wick 3, how many times did Keanu Reeves smile? Plus or minus 0%. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what Kat's category going to be next? Yeah. Oh, please no. Only if she wants to get zeros. Okay, so mm. do we have any announcements? Anything going on, anybody? Um, Kyle, why don't you start off with? Sure, yeah, yeah. This you're weekend, prepared. yeah. This weekend, Data Skeptic. I'm talking to a guy about the role of large language models in analytics and how uh, the way people get data is going to evolve given these new tools. That's this weekend, Data Skeptic. Is it going to evolve? It seems so. Yeah, almost every job I can think of is going to change given uh, the presence of LLMs. Oh. Well, it's good. And just for it. clarification, that is data skeptic, not date a skeptic. <laughs> That's the spin off. <laughs> Whatever you want your vote. That, that was one of the first Very things good. I mentioned to Kyle. I was That's like, oh, which, yeah, yeah, I give Ben the credit for that one. I've never heard of that. Is it like my sex, uh, my psychic <laughs> sex plane? Sex plane. Yeah. It's a little bit more PG, but yeah. <laughs> we should have a data skeptic psychic explained crossover episode. <laughs> I'm in. Sign me there you right go. up. I'm I'm gonna I got to tell Mark this one. <laughs> very good. Very good. Okay. Al must be next, huh? Uh, yeah, I think so. So I don't have anything up. I don't think I have anything new, except as I was saying to people earlier, we are going to have Skeptic Camp on January 5th, 6th, and 7th. The 5th is actually a Friday night, like hang out, meet people and stuff. And hopefully we're going to have a whole bunch of you guys here. This should be a lot of fun. Um, I will probably put out some information on it this next week. I have, we're doing Christmas Saturday because Sterling will be here. And maybe, maybe, just maybe, there will be pictures of both my children <laughs> in the same photo. Yeah. So Photoshop have, fake. Okay, okay. Yeah. Maybe it will do. I don't. I, maybe I'll do a short video or something so that you guys can see that they both exist at the same time. Yeah, do AI, 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 AI CGI. Get him, get them arguing with each other. And that way, we'll be. Well, sure. we did. We did that chat uh, when I was in uh, Sydney. We had the chat GTP 
are uh, talking to the other chat GPT and they were going back and forth to each other. I put up a video on that. And that, that <laughs> we actually, you know, I recorded That's the last dangerous. couple of seconds. Yeah. Well, we didn't know where it was going to go, but before the seconds, before I turned on my phone, it was very interesting. And then they kind of got weird, but yeah, starting off, they were really having good conversations with each other. It was pretty, pretty creepy. All right. So nothing else anybody has that I should know about. That's what happened in Colossus, the Forbin project. <laughs> Don't you know? I've yes, a couple yes. things. There, there is another, another system. Adrian, yes. You will connect that was, us. That was in my evil computer round. Adrian? Yeah, so on the Skeptic Zone this week. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The uh, I'll be reading the newsletter as well as, though I haven't done it yet. Um, but also I did... Or an interview with Christopher Labos a few weeks ago, and that's going to be up this Who's week. That? He wrote the book, Does Coffee Cause Cancer and Eight Other Food Myths? Mm -hmm. He is a Canadian from the McGill's Office of Science and Society. He's a and great he also, organization. Mm, mm -hmm. And he's a, a co-host of the podcast with Jonathan Jerry. Oh, oh, body of evidence. Oh, he's the doctor. He's the doctor. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I didn't recognize the name. Yeah. And also I, I, because I posted on my Facebook page, a picture of me having finished the book and saying I enjoyed it. Russ Dobler from AITP comics reached out to me and asked if I would do a book review. So I did my very first ever book review. Cool. <laughs> which, did which the book just really come out? It came out a few months ago. Yes, it's fairly recent. Yeah. Oh, just Ross, uh, Ross, Russ. Russ Dobler yeah. badly needs content for there. That's wonderful that you did that. But I'm just going to tell you, FYI, Skeptical Inquirer is always looking for book reviews too, as well. <laughs> hey, I, I, but I also had to get in my article for um, for Skeptical Inquirer regarding the conference, of course. Oh yeah. So That's set true. that in. Yeah. So uh yeah, I just thought I'd, you know. Maybe hey, you could do a book review for the Skeptical Inquirer on um Jane Fell's Sweary History book. Well, there you go. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> uh, yes, I, I met James Fell the other night mm -hmm. and talked with him and I had an a Susan Gerbic moment and went, I'm doing his Wikipedia page right now. I'm here. I better get photos. <laughs> <laughs> and i'm thinking okay but i'd better ask him permission so here's this total stranger going up to him before he started and saying here's my business card it was very confusing because my business card is skeptic zone but i'm representing gorilla skepticism with that card but at least it had my email on yeah it, yeah so, you know, did you tell him that you knew me because yeah i said i understand i said i work with susan gerbick's organization and, she, and uh and he goes oh Oh, yeah. So as soon as I said he your knew name, that, so it yeah. made sense to him. Yeah, yeah. it made sense to him. So it's it been a long problem. time since I talked to him, but yeah, that yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm super glad that might come to fruition. That'll be really yeah, nice. I'm hoping because I think yeah, he actually it was really funny because I gave him my business card. The next morning, I wake up to an email from James Fell with some links that I didn't find. So it was really helpful. And part of it is because in, in, uh, like on People Magazine and some of these other places, they call them James Bell, B-E-L-L. -L. Oh. So of course I'm not going to know. <laughs> it won't come up in a search, what but a it's talking about him and it's obvious it's him. So I don't think it's gonna be a problem. Wow. Well, we, wow. Okay. Yeah. Cause he was just barely not notable mm -hmm. whenever so he's I wrote been it years he's ago. Been in lots of stuff uh, and particularly local Calgary Herald stuff. So lots of things locally as well as people magazine, uh, uh CNN, um, sex yeah, has been alive. Boy, I am so jealous. Sorry. People magazine, sex has been alive. He could like be James actually <laughs> a very good looking man. So Lee, you want to meet him? <laughs> Come visit me and I'll introduce you. <laughs> hey, I, I paid $30 to get his autograph book shipped down from Canada. So uh, yeah, no, I would love to meet him. And do you know what's really awesome about that is you're supporting our small independent bookstore yep. Yep. instead Owl of books. Amazon and yeah, Owl Books. And that's where the reading was on, I guess it was Tuesday night. So that was pretty fun. But yeah, my yeah. inner wow. Susan Gerbic. Hit. And I'm like, why Get didn't I bring my good camera? But yeah, so I've got a whole bunch of pictures and iPhone is fine. Let <laughs> yeah, me tell you, fine. 
Did you, um, Adrian, just really quick, did you meet um, Deborah Hyde in um, UK? I didn't meet anybody in the UK. So I- Except for award. I, I got to meet award. One Lord. person, the whole <laughs> time. <laughs> yeah, no, I- I reached out to lots of people. One of the one of them was uh, what's her name, Ava McVean. Mm -hmm. McVean. She's she used to be yeah. She's for, used to be live in Montreal. Yeah, mm -hmm. and we've been Facebook friends since 2018. We met at SciCon in 2018, and uh, she's living in London now. I saw in a Skeptical Inquirer article she did she wrote, and I went, oh great, I'm going to be in London. We'll connect. Reached out to her. She was in Europe last week. <laughs> Apparently her she's Well, so is England. Well, I know, but she went to Paris or something. <laughs> so <laughs> um Brexit happened. They're no longer part. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> I don't understand nope. why that you couldn't get a single gig or, no. or a meetup with no, anybody. Nothing. It's freaking London. That's no, where no. they started the skeptic. Oh, I'm disappointed in I even opinion. put it in, you know, that group you signed me up with. I even mm -hmm. put it in there. I got zero reach outs. What the do you only say to people? The only thing that I did get, because apparently they're not doing anything in person in London still. Mm -hmm. And so I will be doing a talk on Tourette syndrome for the London Skeptics in the Pub in February. There is a London Skeptics in the Pub? You mm -hmm. should have said you were Susan Gerbic. Then no. they would have invited you. They would have run away. <laughs> they would have run away. I can't get anything in Europe anymore. Nothing in England. Nothing. Yeah. Nada. That's well, I'm glad you tried, Adrian. I tried my I tried my best. I really did. I reached out to a whole bunch of organizations, even the you know, the Greenwich one and and they all said, Yeah, and we're none of us are doing anything right now. So Adrian, can I just ask you the London skeptics in the pub, you're sure it's London, England, not London, California, because there is a London skeptics in the pub in, in California. London, Ontario. No, London, one. Ontario as well. Oh, yeah. I think uh, there is one in, on Facebook that's London Skeptics and it's California. Uh, well, as far as I know, yeah, because they've talked okay. about the time change and okay, all then that other probably, stuff. So, you're probably yeah. okay. It's only an hour in California, but okay. Yeah. Good, to, good, good to hear. You did post some great pictures, though. Thank you. you mm -hmm. very, Thanks. Like, that's, like because the Susan. You. that's my yeah. Susan influence that going on there again. Get your cameras out, you guys. Stop. <laughs> But it's just a phone. Just that's all I just need. Is and a I phone. try to find the fun things like that coffee house. That was so funny. Did any of you <laughs> zoom into the coffee mugs? Like, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to go back and look again. I like, I like that Lloyd's what? of London. What a building that wasn't yeah. that something. Wow, yeah. unbelievable. Oh. My husband told me it's not like any building you're going to expect, right? So yeah. I'm like, okay, what is this going to be like? And I tried to imagine all kinds of weird things and i did not imagine that building that was something else what is what is that bullet shaped building i've seen it on every english detective show oh you mean the I've gherkin watched. it's the called gherkin. the gherkin i don't know what it yeah, is it's a gherkin they, they okay. have really great great names for all the buildings there like there's the shard the gherkin uh there's the walkie talkie <laughs> so it's <laughs> it's quite the place there's a very right. similar building to the gherkin in barcelona Oh, oh yeah. Which which one's that? I don't know. We called it Afterglide Tower. <laughs> the Spanish gherkin. <laughs> or the Barcelona bullet. The Barcelona I, is that the one that's um oh, on the water by the water? Uh I don't or is think it different? So. Right. The House of Lords really made me think of um Green Guard. Not Green Guards, but uh um, oh, yeah. no, uh, Ministry Green of Magic. Ducks. No, yeah. Ministry of Magic. Yeah. And I wasn't, I snuck a couple photos in there and there were a couple places I was allowed, but essentially I wasn't allowed to actually do anything, take any photos. And I actually got to sit in the House of Lords while they were debating policy. And it was, up, you'll be really interested. It was on AI, artificial intelligence that they were oh, discussing. Really? Yeah. Uh, and so one person would do their question. And as soon as some, they sat down, a whole bunch of people would jump up and start shouting. And then the the person that, that moderates everything would say, okay, you can talk. So everybody would sit yeah. down very politely and then the person would give their little question. It was- But it was they don't They don't, They don't. don't do anything, do they? The House of Lords. It's like the Senate in, a, it's like the Senate in Canada, a bunch of old guys that don't do anything. A lot of women, actually. I was very interested. Oh, that guy. That's yes, in Barcelona. I forgot, I'd forgotten about that. Yeah. Isn't that one of- uh, uh, but the house... his name? Rockets, isn't that one of uh, <laughs> the 
space those rockets. <laughs> Planet of the Apes movie rocket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how much the House of Lords. I think that they do more than the Senate. In fact, one of the Canadians asked the Lord if the House of Lords was like the Canadian Senate, and he was quite affronted. So <laughs> I thought I, I'm guessing that they do a little bit more. And I was impressed with the number of women that were there, to be honest. It's very interesting. Hmm. Very good. They have women in London? <laughs> <laughs> women in power. <laughs> uh, what do they call what do they call a lord a, a, a woman in the House of Lords? That's a good question. A lady. I would think lady, yeah. I would yeah. think they'd call him lord. Isn't it just doesn't have to do with the man? There's so much there's so much tradition there. I'm guessing they will have some kind of other designation. Hmm. That's that's my guess. Well, but they don't call total him guess. sir, do they? No, they would call them madam, I'm sure. So so I would think they're, I don't know. If somebody has to find out and let us know, but I have a feeling yeah. it's Lord. If, well, I don't know a lot of people that there were know boxes any that Lord. Were connected to the source of all information. <laughs> I could email the Lord. <laughs> and ask well, him. I mean, it could be. Well, remember Saturday question. Night Live? They did Lord and Lady Douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it's the House of Lords. Yeah, you can't see, house you of can, lords and ladies. And they they don't, uh, it's interesting because he was a lord for 10 years before he actually got into the house of lords. And and uh, so just because you're a lord doesn't mean you are allowed to go into the house of lords. You have to be elected into the house of lords oh, by your peers. And you don't lose it when you're out. According you're still a to lord. the UK Parliament website, a baroness is a female member of the house of lords. Oh, perfect. Hmm. Wow. Lord and Baroness. Okay. We now we need a category. <laughs> Good job. Okay. So let's like let's like uh Carl do his thing. Go for it, Carl. You got your permissions. You've turned your chair, so we better get started. Uh another mystery round. This so is a mystery round. Yet another mystery. There will mystery be a round. common theme among all these questions. Okay. All right. Somebody want to mute? No. Karen's here. She doesn't like it. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm here. All right. Number one. A form of drag racing that allows for a handicap between the predicted elapsed time of the two cars over standard distance to make it a more even match. Number two. A spaghetti western, part of the Man with No Name trilogy, directed by Sergio Leone, starring Clint Eastwood, based on the Akira Kurosawa's Yojimba. Number three. British American musician who served as a member of the bands Guns N' Roses and Velvet Revolver. Number four. 1981 film set in a dystopian 1997 near future with Donald Pleasance, Lee Van Cleef, Ernest Borgnine, Isaac Hayes, Harry Dean Stanton, and Adrian Barbeau shot largely in and around St. Louis, Missouri. Because if you need a dystopic hellhole, where are you going to film? It's St. Louis, right? Number five. 1987 movie co-starring Robert Downey Jr. about a college freshman returning to L.A. for the holidays and discovering that his former best friend has an out-of-control drug habit, featuring an excellent Bangles cover of the song Hazy Shade of Winter. Number six. This defensive alignment was banned in Major League Baseball beginning with the 2023 season. Number seven. With a total of 5,195 aircraft built, this was the most produced American supersonic military aircraft in history and was the signature combat aircraft of the Cold War, having seen service with 12 countries. In U.S. service, it is the only jet to serve as a combat fighter for the Air Force, Navy, and Marine Corps. It first flew in 1958, and although it was retired from U.S. service in 1996, it is still in service with four air forces around the world. Number eight. The voice of the droid in Spaceballs, voiced by Joan Rivers. Number nine. 
number nine. Song with music written by Arthur Schwartz and lyrics by Howard Dietz, especially for the 1953 MGM musical film The Bandwagon and performed by Jack Buchanan, Fred Astaire, and Nanette Farby and Oscar Levent. It is also the title of a 1974 American compilation film released by MGM to celebrate the studio's 50th anniversary. And finally, number 10, The Riddle. Where does an astronaut secretary get their drinks? <laughs> and here we go. Astronaut secretary get their drinks. Hi, team. Hello. Hi. Hi, Carl. <laughs> no. You can put I your bet headphones Carl on. Carl was a little disappointed to find me on his team this time. Well, no, we're going to do all right. Okay, so I think the first one's called bracketing, isn't it? Bracketing? I don't know. I think the so. form of drag racing. Don't you need the name of a kind of drag racing? Yeah, bracketed bracketed Bracketing. time unless you know uh, that well I, used, that's I did used to drag race for a while there ah. back before i had children but i think it was called bracket like on a track yeah yeah or you quarter, just quarter mile it was oh. quarter mile i yeah. just was a crazy driver and no no no, no. <laughs> we had i actually had a hopped up Volkswagen that that we used to race so, so what do you what did you call it bracketing, bracketing i think that's what it is I apologize if it's not right, but that's, unless you guys have something else, bracketed racing, I think. No, sounds... This one is um... a spaghetti Western. Now, well, Caspian would know this because he had me watch all these movies and he had like taken a, good, a film class. Okay. Good, and, bad, and ugly. There's Yeah, yeah. Just that's the only the one that I know. Yeah, but I know the other connected ones together. Um, and I know the other ones. I just can't think of what they're called. A horse with no, no um <laughs> what's that? A horse with no name, or was it no, no, no. Mark, do you remember those spaghetti westerns with Clint Eastwood? Uh part of the, the Man with No westerns? Name trilogy, directed by Sirio Leon. This full of dollars. I saw this full of dollars. This full of dollars is another one, yeah. I saw that in yeah, Panama. That familiar. With rats. And a few dollars more. Yeah. Forest. A few dollars what? more. A few dollars more. Yeah, those are the three I think. And we'll probably have to get the theme oh, to figure to out which one. which of the ones it is. Yeah, one of those three. Okay, okay. number two. Mark says it's fistful of dollars. Okay, so remember two fistful of dollars. But what, why is it a fistful of dollars, and not one of the other two? Okay, let me ask Mark. Mark, Mark, why is it fistful of dollars and not the other ones? What were the other ones, you guys? What were the other two? We the said? good, the bad, and the ugly. Good, the bad, and the ugly. And a few, and a few dollars, dollars more. more. And a few dollars more. So you're saying all three are correct? No. no he's. Mm. We have. To oh, he says okay. He says good, bad, and the ugly. Yeah, that's what yeah, Greg if, actually if, said too. But. But I don't know why. It'll fit the yeah. theme when we get here in a minute, you guys. Well, if. Maybe I have no idea what the theme is. Yeah, All we'll right. get there. We need to figure it out. So. Okay, British American musician who served as a member of the band Guns and Roses and Velvet Revolver. Um, not a clue. Mark says Flash. Is there some meaning Flash? Maybe. Okay, no idea, Mark. This is Flash, so I don't know. Um, 1981 film set in a dystopian 1997 near future with Donald Pleasance. Pleasance. Yeah. Lee Van Cleef, Ernest Borgnine. Lee Van Cleef, Ernest Borgnine, Isaac Hayes, Harry Dean Stanton, Adrian Bardot, chart largely in around St. Louis, Missouri. Somebody know, know this one? I know I've seen the movie, but I can't remember the name. Yeah, I probably have seen it, but I couldn't recall. Mark's thinking. He says, "Could it be? It could. could it be the one with the rain? The 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 one with um the androids? 
<laughs> There's been a lot of movies. Around <laughs> no, no, the one with the the guy who um in the future, not Westworld. I'm thinking of um uh the really famous one that stars uh Harrison Ford and Blade Runner. That wasn't an eighty one. Could be. It's the only one I knew, or maybe no. You don't know number five? Oh, I thought you said you did. No, oh. but I didn't. Oh, okay. So just this one? That's the only one. I okay. Okay, so Mark says question four is the first John Carpenter movie. I don't. I don't know what it is. No trash. Hold on. What? Hi, Trask. Yeah, he's getting so old. Mm -hmm. Okay, so question four, Mark says, is something like police station lockup? Something like that. Does that ring a bell to anybody? Nope. No. Not, not, like not um. Well, maybe it'll come to us when we figure out the. Okay, nine. Not Robocop, then. Not Robocop, is... Mark? That was later, I think. Okay, 1987 movie starring Robert Downey Jr. about college freshman returning to L.A. for the holidays and discovering his former best friend was an out-of-control drug, ha drug habit featuring an excellent Bengals cover of the song Hazy Shade of Winter. Is that what it is? What do you think you guys know it? <laughs> hmm? Do you think you know it? I think I remember hearing about this, um, about the guy who comes back and there's his friend is is really no in idea. bad shape. I think I read about this somewhere recently. Okay. And number six, is that going to be um, Stealing Signals? You know, because they're really getting upset about how people are stealing signals. Oh, I think I've, like maybe no cell phones in the physical. nothing, no physical, no cell phones in the in a certain place so that people can't steal mm -hmm. and send signals. You know, was it? I thought it was something about the your stance in the batting box. There was some kind of um, yeah. I know um, you have a you have a certain amount of seconds that you have to throw the ball. Um, but is that a defensive alignment? No, an, a defensive alignment. Like it's just just stepping out of the batter's box, I guess. Mm. But I, I have no idea. Yeah, something was something, to speed it, things up. It's and it was something things. about the batter's box, I thought, but I can't remember. I don't oh, watch this, enough this of it. This is a baseball um, reference. Um, yeah, put put stepping out of the batter box. That sounds. I mean, that's close. Okay, it is defensive, right? Not getting hit or whatever. Yeah. Right. It was supposed oh, to maybe in. that's what it was. Because I think if you if you turned into the batting box and got hit, then that you automatically got to walk to the base. I think there's something it's something about getting hit with the ball. Okay. Uh, I number seven. I have no idea. Is only jet to serve as a combat fighter of the Air Force? Not a clue. Does um Greg? That's know an Amy? airplane. What? That's an airplane. A Phantom F4. That's what he said. And you're holding it? How come you're holding it? <laughs> Why not me? I oh. knew Greg would know it. I knew what is that you have it. there, Adrian? Oh, it's just the answer, hopefully, to question number seven. Seven. Toy airplanes, <laughs> Carl. Toy <laughs> toy airplanes. <laughs> it might be a second question with a St. Louis connection. <laughs> Okay, so question number eight, four. Mark oh. says it's something like what? Precinct thirteen. Eight. Something. On question four, he says it's something like precinct th thirteen. He's still thinking about that one. So, r raid on precinct thirteen. Something like that. He says. Okay, so number eight, the name of the droid in Spaceballs, voiced by Joan Rivers. I believe that is Dot Matrix. Ooh, that's a good name. Ooh. She should be called that. Must the theme must be Keanu Reeves then? Matrix. <laughs> uh, okay. 
song with music written by Arthur Schwartz and lyrics by Howard Dietz, especially for the 1953 MGM musical film, The Bandwagon. Never heard of that. Fred Astaire, Nanette. 1974 American compilation film released by MGM to celebrate the studio's 50th anniversary. Hmm. Okay. Leonard, 10 is yours. Mm. If bracketing it? and flash are correct, are these camera terms? Flash? I don't think so. I think number 10 is mm -hmm. a space bar. Astronaut oh, Secretary oh, like space, space bar. bar. That's on your computer. I mean, it's. Yeah. I was just going to say, these are all computer things. Okay, that makes sense. Space bar, dot matrix, F4. Explain stepping out of the batter's box, then. <laughs> I don't think it's right. Okay, so is there a flash on your computer? There was a uh, programming language called Flash, an animation language. Okay, how about ah. good, bad, good, bad, and the ugly? Or a fistful of dollars or a few dollars more. Yeah, none of those fit. Good, bad, and the ugly. Yeah, I think we've got the wrong one. Um. Hmm. Hmm. We think all the answers. One is bracketing. One's flat. What about phantom? Is that Got a computer term? Not that I know of. So all the answers are going to have something to do with the, key, the keys and your uh, computer. That's so maybe it's not the phantom F score. Or maybe it's it not the computer. Stepping yeah, back. Stepping back or something. Backspace? Six. Back back backspace? Back. For what? For the stepping Six. out of the batter box. Is there a way to make that one fit? Mm. <clears throat> um It'd be stepping forward, I think, into the batter's box. It wasn't allowed. Okay, there's a shift hmm. key. Okay, the Robert Downey Jr. movie. College freshman returning to L.A. for the holidays. Discovering his former best friend was an out-of-control drug habit. With a Bengals cover. 1987. I, I swear I just read about this. Um, God, this is hard. Oh, but F4 is, is a function on your computer keyboard. Yeah, I yeah. said that. That's perfect. Yeah. That's, okay. We, we, know, we got also... that right. We got that right. Look on your keyboards, you guys, and see if you come up with anything oh else. God. Enter. Uh, Enter I'm... the dragon. Is there something called Enter the Dragon? Isn't that a movie? And yeah, but it's but it, not. Uh, there's an enter key. Yeah, but it's not the. the uh, it's not a spaghetti western. Face. Print screen, num lock. <laughs> That's what I'm doing too. There's a whole bunch of Fs. Yeah. So there's an escape. Yeah, escape. From, oh, did Mark say something about a movie called Escape from what, Mark? Escape from Precinct Thirteen escapes on your computer. Oh, Escape from New York. Is that four or five? <laughs> four, four. I think that's four. Could 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 Escape? We need from more New York time, Carl. Don't film? call us back yet, Mark. That was we just. I think we figured out the theme. Yeah. What is it? No, no. We're gonna tell. We're, we're not gonna, gonna tell you. You Go already ahead. know. Okay, so I think four is that one. I think it's yeah. that. Okay. And then five right. is the movie Freshman. Something about home. Home for the holidays? We're, we're looking at the 1987 movie. Because he's returning from the holidays, right? Yeah, so starring Robert Downey Jr. about a college freshman returning to LA That's for the holidays five. and discovering his former best friend has an out-of-control drug habit. Featuring an excellent Bengals cover of the song Hazy Shade of Winter. Could that Home be the movie the Home for the Holidays? Mark says no, but I don't I don't think so because it says for the holidays right in there. So I 
unless he's just giving it to us. <laughs> I'd be fine. I, I'm I'm okay with that. Um, something you know that has to do with that. home. Um, home. Just going home. Home alone. <laughs> but then I wish. <laughs> that no, that was a movie. That was a movie. But I don't think <laughs> it was Robert, Robert Downey Jr. No. Um. Okay, song with music written by Arthur Schwartz, lyrics by Howard Beats, especially for the 1953 MGM musical film The Bandwagon. Home could be in that too, or home. Could that be home for the holidays? Was that an old movie? Oh, well, the song. Let's okay, do that. If you have nothing else, put home for the holidays. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, and then. Uh... <laughs> uh... And have we got return? Return so maybe the... five. Five could be return something. Okay, Robert is Downey going Jr. back, right? Yeah, so... return. Um, return. I also have help. Page have up, help. page down. We have delete. But I like I the return to fit in with the movie, but. Yeah, so for the for that the, the spaghetti western we haven't got anything yet either, right? So <sighs> spaghetti western. Oh, good. We had good bad and but the ugly. Hold on. Because... It's going to be either fistful of dollars or a few dollars more because there's a dollar sign on the keyboard. Yeah. Could, is that a stretch? <laughs> That's really stretching it. <laughs> so, it's not know, a real key, stretch. My keyboard is good, bad, and ugly. <laughs> 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 so fistful of dollars or, or a few dollars few more dollars more so which one do we have a more on here no <laughs> i don't know whatever you guys want to put whichever you one you think is more likely based on starring clinics yeah because it has to be the one that's Acura, based on that, that japanese movie yeah so we have i have a feeling them. it's fistful of dollars because hey, i up. I remember Caspian talking about this, okay. How, but I, uh, well, it's all we got. What do we have for five? Five, we have return. Return? Return well, of what? Return of something. Well, <laughs> we've got the word return. I'll give you a hint. It's not return of the Jedi. <laughs> Thanks. I don't, and I shouldn't be helping my own team. Thank you, Carl. Team. Thank you, Carl. You can go tell all the rest of the teams. Huge stretch. Okay, the defensive alignment was banned in the MLB beginning with the 2023 season. How do we have anything for tab? Uh, it could be any computer term, though. It doesn't have to be on a keyboard, right? So. Well, but they seem to be. Well, not flash and bracketing and dot matrix, and right? <laughs> Okay. I have cap locks. That must be a cap lock. I have shift. 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 I have a puppy foot. <laughs> hey, doctor, computer. about that. That's part of your computer? Yeah, it's right there. Uh, it's That's what my son calls it. I don't know what it is, really. Wait, wait what's a puppy I also foot? have an option. And control. You'll be looking at you'll be looking at an Apple keyboard to have a puppy foot. What's yes. a puppy foot? Of course I am. It's control option and puppy foot. <laughs> right there. No. Oh, idea. how about a window? Maybe something with a window, like windows, like a movie with windows. I have no windows on my I have an L that sticks. <laughs> Could it be that okay? Maybe more unique to your machine. Yeah. Then. Okay. So the oh. return one could it be just something like return home, or return? I mean, it it, it you we could have just any of the Anything. digits zero yeah. through nine. Okay. So the defensive alignment, this defensive alignment was banned in the MBL. Oh yeah, that one we haven't got yet. Well, home base, home, <laughs> home base. Yeah. Well, what's that what's it called? Escape. Oh, there's hugging home. There's some. How about oh. hugging home? That sounds good. Bl or blocking home. 
Okay. Oh, that that sounds good. Yeah. Walking, that okay, sounds, that's that good. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna get these. You better give us more okay. time. Okay, so we've got we've got home twice then, because on okay. nine we've got home for the holidays. That's okay. Doesn't matter. We need. How about we we call it return for the holidays? Because I know there's a <laughs> isn't there something the called yet? home for the holidays? No. I mean, everybody says that every year. Are you going home for the holidays? I think it's pretty common. <laughs> return. So Maybe it's just called return. I don't know. What's our actual answer for four? Um, escape from New York. That yeah, doesn't <laughs> sound right. Well, I don't. Escape from New York is probably not going to have been shot in and around St. Louis. Louis. Oh, but it would, it was, well, 81, that's true. A Maybe dystopian. it was Escape 2 to New York. Or Escape from Earth. You ready for a two-minute warning? No, it's no. only a one-minute warning. Give us, give Still us. Only a, one, how, how come it's, it's one, minute, one minute? I don't know, because because oh. I'm on my laptop, I guess. Cause, yeah, because you're not at home. That's why. Yeah. Home. Weirdest thing. No. <laughs> um, that's what the song is called. Not at home. I don't know any of these people. I've heard of Ernest Borgnine. Isaac Hayes, I know I've Adrian Barbeau because we share a name. Yeah. Okay. Well, what is it? <laughs> I don't know. A 1981 film. Dystopian 1997. Not I think clue. Escape from New York was, was a futuristic movie, wasn't it? Maybe. It's better than a blank. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. It's better than a blank. I guess we have everything, right? Uh, well, we don't really have nine unless, uh, well, the home from the holidays, if we want to use home twice. A title oh, of a 1974 American compultation film. Compultation film released Com by MGM to celebrate. Compilation. This. Compilation. Compilation film. Not a clue. Released by MGM to celebrate the studio's 50th anniversary. One it's a song with music written by Arthur Schwartz and lyrics by Howard Dietz, especially for the 1953 MGM musical film, The Bandwagon. And performed in the film by Jack Buchanan with Fred Astaire, <laughs> Nanette Fabre, Oscar Levant. It's also the title of a 1974 American com Compilation, compilation. Um, released by MGM to celebrate the <laughs> it's a computer thing it's a computation stop um 20 seconds uh, let's just go with what we have i don't know what else it would be okay well good job you guys we we, we did our best there are a couple <laughs> yeah we we we, we got a non-zero number and yeah. I, I other people i'm sure are struggling too so Good job. Looking at, yeah, some, oh, Grace Slick. She's not disturbing. Uh, Just, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, she's better than some. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You ready, Carl? That was, that was pretty fun. All right. I don't think we did well, but that was interesting. All right. Here come the answers. Oh, no, all the answers. The actual title of the theme is Key Mystery Theme Trivia uh -huh. Round. Ah. Uh, and number one, Bracket Racing. Bracket Racing. Yay. Bracket Racing. Yes, I, I Karen, good right. job. Number good two, job, a fistful of dollars. Fistful of dollars. <laughs> number three, Flash. That's, oh, it's Slash, not Flash. Oh, number four, Escape from New York. Well, yeah. Escape from New York. Ooh, wow. I thought that had Good that. Job, it was Escape from New York. Uh, Kirk Russell. Well done. Yeah, uh, but you Kirk didn't did, mention him. It did star Kurt Russell, but I did, I left out the obvious name. Right. Because he was too easy. Kurt yeah. Russell. Yeah. President Pleasance or something. Number five, like a double less than zero. Less you only than get one zero. For it. Number six, 
The infield shift. Oh. The infield uh, shift. Is the shift good enough? Shift is good enough, yes. Okay. <laughs> and and Leonard, the blocking the home plate was uh, uh, a couple years earlier. Oh, mm. uh, that's what we home, said, too. Hugging the home plate. Damn it. Oh, well, we were just too late. And and they never enforced that stupid blocking the home plate rule either. <laughs> so what is what is this rule about? I haven't heard this. Like what the what, infield what? shift is that you are now required to have two infielders on each side of the second base line yeah. in yeah. in the dirt. They cannot be in the grass and they can you cannot have three on one side and one on the other. Yeah. Because teams started doing statistical analysis and determined that you know uh, left handed hitters tend to hit the ball between first and second and right-handed hitters tend to hit the ball between sure. second and third. So they started moving infielders from places where the balls never went to provide extra coverage. They should make a movie about that. They could make money off of it. <laughs> Number seven, the McDonnell Douglas F4 Phantom 2. Yes. Uh, F4 really? Phantom 2, good job. F4, we were F14 or F12, <laughs> F you know. The overwhelming you majority of F4? Much more... Yeah, F4, F4 is all Phantom. you need. I thought the Phantom was a, a French jet. No. What? No. No. Nope. <laughs> I think Phantom you offended one Lee. The two were both <laughs> both. Most, most of the vast majority of them were produced right here in St. Louis. Number eight, dot matrix. As many yes. computer oh, people know that the period is often referred to as a dot. Oh. Number nine. That's entertainment. Oh, oh. oh. that's bad. Oh, you Karen. should be fired for yeah, that. that yeah, it's I agree. The, the, the song was That's Entertainment. Rob actually picked that. We were going to change that. We thought that can't be right. It can't be right. And Rob figured out why. It was yeah, right. but, but we worked together because I would not have thought of the name at all. But then we're, we had it there almost the whole time. We go, that can't be right. That can't be right. Then all of a sudden, oh, enter. Oh, yeah. Enter is part of the word. <laughs> And finally, the last one. It's a shame Vincent couldn't stick around for at the space bar. <laughs> yeah, we got that one. That was great. Uh, at the space bar. Where does astronauts uh, get the get their alcohol? Brilliant. That was a lot of fun. That it was, was fun. that was, was cool. Fun. Okay. That was great. Are you putting them in the chat? I so will I be just putting copy. them in the chat momentarily. Yeah. Very good. That was fun. That was great. Yeah, well, that, that was later. Bye, Carolyn. Bye, Carolyn. Bye, Carolyn. Bye, Carolyn. Bye, Carolyn. What was the theme, Carl? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you guys, Mark, Mark keys, said he said slash, and I, I must have said splash. Yeah, he was telling me slash <sighs> from Guns N' Roses. Okay, so... Anybody wants them, the documents are now in the chat. Or the, slash and power, backslash. The PowerPoint's on the way. Well, can you put the just uh, and there? And then there's are. the regular <clears throat> slash actual like, words. Less than zero. Less than zero was a dystopian. No, um, the, the uh, movie Robert about Downer the guy Jr. coming back at his with yeah. the Bengals cover of Robert ABC. Downey Jr. I I saw I read that somewhere in the I think they were talking about that movie for some reason. I don't um, think I've ever heard that movie name before. No, the name doesn't sound familiar, but I remember them talking about this. It, it's, a movie, it's a movie that was partially prophetic about the future of what Robert Downey Jr.'s career for a while. Yep. Maybe yeah. that's what it was. It was an article I read on something and they yeah. mentioned this. Oh, I don't know. Real, really excellent version of Hazy Shade of Winter, though. My, my favorite version of Hazy Shade of Winter. Bracket racing. Okay. All right, so I'm almost done copying these over. Sorry, you guys, it takes me a second because I'm using one computer. I mean, one screen. <sighs> All right, so it looks like, oh, here comes Robin. Good timing because she's about up. Mm -hmm. And are you covered? And for... we could definitely use her. Are you covered you, for Karen. next week? Let's look and see. I think yeah, it's next all week it's all week. Rob. All, all Rob, Rob all the time. All right. night. All, ooh. <laughs> Which so means one, have one, lucky, following? one lucky team gets Susan on it. Oh, that's right. I'll be on it the whole time. Okay, so you're calling this category um key trivia. Key trivia. Okay. Hi Robin. Hi Robin. I had lunch Hi, with Robin. her, dinner with her too. 
Hi guys. Okay, so um fourth. Yeah, fourth. I was just gonna say because Karen raises a good point. Next week is all Rob, and the week after that is going to be the twenty eighth. So if somebody wanted to volunteer now, I, I had volunteered for for this week and got pushed to next week, but now you're pushing me further. Yeah, the twenty eighth. Now my Christmas questions are no good. Oh no, that's all right. You can do it <laughs> after Christmas. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just putting it out there. Kevin's on there now. All right. Hey, just, that might be a lie, though. Yeah, just, I know it is. And just so you know, my child is coming in uh, to New York and then to here, and sometime in January, I told him he's got to make at least a couple of uh, mm -hmm. um, make Good a couple of rounds. All right. Well, Tom, I, he has uh, to write a couple of categories. No pressure. Way too long. They'll be on. They'll be on German Germany. Okay, so let's do. They'll be on algebraic number theory. Krumpus oh, in German. <laughs> in Krumpus theory. German, German algorithms or something. Okay, so here we are. What are we at? Four, Ooh, two at ten. Yeah. Okay. Here's Good Lord, another psychic. Well, Carl, you'll be amazed. We got this many right after what you last saw, but we made it to four. Oh wow! Four. Okay, yes, and Tesla's autopilot asleep at the wheel. Five. Five. Ooh, snazzy. And Trump said nobody would be a better president than me. We agree. Seven. Seven. Damn, you guys. Okay, are the V'ger one data glitches transforming it into V'ger? Voyage one? Nine. Nine. Ooh. You guys caught this Nine. category. Wow. All right, so team name, we ain't got no team name. This is Carl's team. Six. Six, Six. all right, good job. Okay, so 14 to 22, that is a high range, you guys. Thanks, Carl, that round put us in the lead. Which one did you get? not get? The the um, baseball. baseball. Oh. oh, that was hard, huh? Yeah, we said yeah. blocking home. There was yeah, which, yeah, again, home. there's a home key, so that yep. it fit, but we didn't know about the new one. It's one of right, the only right. ones we knew. I, I didn't even think of that as a, as a possible thing. Uh, maybe I should have left off the, the date and allowed multiple answers. That would have been awesome. All right, we, we retroactively yeah, get I, heard, I heard him say we get a 10. <laughs> so are we ready for the next one? Yeah, let me, I know I got to make you a, a co-host. I, I must have missed him, missed hearing him say that. Apparently. Well, in the interpretation. Okay, so we have Gail up next. Gail? Let me okay. find you on the screen. Where are you? Um, hey, who gets Robin? We Robin do. goes to five because she's going to yeah, be the bonus. There's Gail. Took me a Better word time. is who has to take Robin? <laughs> <laughs> well, we we could have used you in the last one. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, go for it, okay. Gail. Here comes what category? Quotations from famous people. They are random quotations. And I will give you the list of the 10 quotations, and then I will give you the alphabetized list of 11 of the people. One of them is not one of the quotations, and the other 10 are. So you just have to match the people with their their quotation. Oh, and okay. The fact that you haven't heard them shouldn't matter, because so, some of them you can figure out just by knowing who the people are. Okay, we can do this. Okay. Here we go. Number one, don't go around saying the world owes you a living, the world owes you nothing. It was here first. Number two. Who's, who's talking? It's Romero. And Robin? It was Robin. I'm to oh, Robin, sorry. Okay. My dad. Number two. Time you enjoy wasting was not wasted. That's going to be hard. I'm going to give you the people, remember. Okay, yeah, yeah. We're going to need it. Three. In real life, I assure you, there is no such thing as algebra. <laughs> said, said Adrian Hill. <laughs> After three highballs. <laughs> Number four. What's this? 
before it didn't come through. You only have to do a very few things right in your life, so long as you don't do too many things wrong. <laughs> That's a good quote. Five, if you want to know what God thinks of money, just look at the people he gave it to. <laughs> it's an excellent quote. <laughs> okay, number six, doing nothing is very hard to do. You never know when you're finished. <laughs> Can we put George Carlin on every one of these answers? I told you I'm going to give you. You could, but you would be wrong. George Carlin is not one of them. Oh, these are good. I I know George Carlin. You would be wrong. Oh. Number seven. True terror is to wake up one morning and discover that your high school class is running <gasps> the country. Oh, oh. That's a really good quote. That is a really good quote. You notice how I picked this category. <laughs> I picked quotes I liked. Yeah, these are good quotes. Number eight. By the time you're 80 years old, you've learned everything. You only have to remember it. <laughs> Number nine. The nice thing about being a celebrity is that when you bore people, they think it's their fault. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. And number 10. Sometimes the road less traveled is less traveled for a reason. I like that one too. That's really good. These are great quotes. Okay, so here are the 11 names okay. and the idea is to match 10 of them with the people who made the quote. Okay. So here's the list. A. Mark Twain, B. Jerry Seinfeld, C. Leslie Nielsen, D. Dorothy Parker, E. John Lennon, F. Henry Kissinger, G. Kurt Vonnegut, H. Ralph Waldo Emerson, I. Warren Buffett, J. George Byrne, and K. Fran Lebowitz. So when we want the answer, give the answers, you want them to be like one and then the letter of the alphabet it fits? Exactly. Just okay. match a letter to each one of those quotes. Okay, that sounds good. And, cool. and leave one letter out because there are 11 not letters, so you can't just, by missing one doesn't mean you have to miss the other one, right? Right. And we shouldn't I, say Mark Twain for all of them. Unless you're I, I'm more. telling you the story. Yeah, I know. Okay. No there, Mark Twain. Right? All so right. Take that in. It's this, hard enough as it is, right? These are great quotes, even if I don't know who these people are. Okay, I'm great. Sorry if I missed you, it, can, you can if you know who the people are, you can figure out some of it. Yeah, but, it is it is one each. There's no replication, right? There is no there's no replication okay. and there's okay. one more person than there is yeah, quote. Okay. So okay. one of those people is not quoted here. Okay, great. Go to your okay. rooms. Robin, let me put you in your room. Okay, I'm going to room four. Okay, I'm going to mute myself so I can read. Okay. Can you all see that? Uh, yes. Okay. I put one in that I know. Leslie Nielsen. I'll bet you that eight is J. George Burns. That sounds right. Because he's old. <laughs> no, I, I think he said that. It sounds right. Yeah. Uh, I don't recognize anything as Vonnegut quote. Um, okay. 
definitely okay. I think uh, ten is H. I think ten is oh okay. Maybe I'm Maybe. not a hundred percent. Does it sound right to you guys? Sounds okay. None of the none of the other ones seem like seem like Emerson. So why not? Um, I mean, yeah. Uh, Buffett would be number five. Uh, oh, okay. Who? Who would have had also number one could be Warren Buffett? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm more likely to think that he's on number one. Okay. But, mm -hmm. I'm over, but I, I don't I kind know. Of agree. Huh? I kind of agree. One. Okay. Yeah. Mark Twain for the second one? Or I mean, maybe not. Um, Actually, I'm gonna say maybe, uh, maybe Mark Twain is. If you want to know what God thinks of money, uh huh. That, yeah, yeah. That just seems kind of kind of Sammy Clemens to me. Mm hmm. Um. Uh, my guess on um, okay. No, you're you're sure on Leslie Nelson being? Yeah, that, yeah. That's he okay. said that. Okay. Um. How about uh, Seinfeld being? Uh, being nine, it's either Seinfeld, I think, or or Dorothy Parker. Let's see. Now, see if I if it, if she was on here, I would have said that was like Joan Collins, but yeah. <laughs> um, I, but, um I was thinking, um, the True Terror one was was uh, Seinfeld, but oh, okay. I'm gonna put. This one. Just because sure. of the Fran Leibowitz for three. Sure. Who's Fran Leibowitz? Is that the nanny woman? Yeah. Isn't she uh head of the uh the, the Actors Guild or actress something? Guild, right. Uh, She's the head of Actors she Guild. Photographer? Or am I thinking of somebody else? Uh, that's Anne Lee. Annie Lee Brooks. Never mind. Yeah, Fran Lee Brooks is the uh, the actress woman. What? Yeah. Uh, okay. Time you enjoy wasting was not wasted. That um, could well, be. That could be John Lennon. Sure. Yeah. That sounds like a a philosophy he might have liked. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm gonna guess that Henry Kissinger is the one that just wasn't in this. Yeah, he's not very. What well, he wasn't very funny. Wait, no. Kissinger should be in here, don't you think? Well, sure, but which one was he? Okay, what do we have left? I think seven is probably, is probably Seinfeld. Okay, we can do that. It fits better. But Mark, I, you know, Mark I, thinks the George Burns one is correct. Yeah. Um... I think Henry Kissinger said 10. Okay. I don't think it's Ralph Emerson because I, th Walter Anderson, because he is the one who made the, isn't he the one that talked about the the road less traveled? Uh-huh. Well, mm -hmm. I think it's, I th I don't think he would have said it's less traveled for a reason. Well, I kind of right. do. Um, actually, well, it can't be Emerson because road less traveled is from a Frost poem, right? Yeah. That's and Frost right. would have been after Emerson. Mm. Well, good point. Good point. Yeah, I think well, it's Kissinger. Sure. Okay, we um, just switched it. Sure. So we Maybe, need um, yeah number four and number nine. Um. Okay. So I don't know Dorothy Parker. Who is she? Is she an author? Uh. Yeah. She was. She was more like famously witty. Um, yeah. Very snarky and witty. Yeah. So, and the thing is, I, I think nine. nine is. I think nine is Dorothy Parker. They're, not. They're saying she's one of the leftovers. Dorothy Parker. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, I could see that. But <laughs> okay, and I, then I would go for number four being Vonnegut. That sounds kind mm-hmm. of Vonnegutty. Mm-hmm. That leaves us with Emerson as the odd man out. I think. I think Emerson's out. I don't know Kurt Vonnegut's what he would have said. He wrote um, uh, Slaughterhouse Five, Slaughterhouse and Five, a whole bunch of other books. Yeah, that sounds fairly Vonnegut. That that sounds like a plausible Vonnegut quote mm-hmm. from me, but I'm not an expert. But I, nothing here really stri- screams Emerson to me. Mm-hmm. Um, it the road less traveled is the only thing that kind of seems like it would be. But no, I think no. Yeah, Kissinger just died. Did anybody talk about Kissinger? I don't know. I guess we almost we missed a chance to kill him, though. Huh? I know. Well, he was ninety nine or hundred or something, wasn't he? Yeah, he made a long time. That's for sure. For all the stress that man put people through, and probably <laughs> dealt, and he that's probably right. dealt with a lot of stress. I'm surprised he made it to ninety nine. I think he liked it. He lived off of it. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Well, we, didn't we talk about him last week? I mean, did we? <laughs> I he he died week. before he, he. We talked about him after he died. I think. Yeah. Oh, all right. <clears throat> so nobody killed him. Nobody killed him. But we don't know when Gail wrote the category. Ooh. It may have just been the act of writing the category. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how it's it very works? quantum? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, I think we did really good. Yeah. Hey. I'm pleased. I, I like a lot of these quotes. I'm gonna have to remember this. So I hope I gotta get these. I quotes. like the quotes. The one I like the best is the one that is the true terror is to wake up one morning and discover your high school classes running the country. <laughs> it's so true. I hadn't really thought who about that. Who else could before. it be though? If it's not Jerry Seinfeld, who else could it be in this list? I mean, it sort of depends on when it was said, I think, I think yeah. because of the, how old he is and how what they're talking, you know, I mean, yeah, it's a current joke with Seinfeld. It's not yeah. current with anybody else on the list. Exactly. Yeah, it's not a Kissinger or Emerson or they're or, all too old. Yeah, Mark Twain. Right. I guess maybe Warren Buffett could have said that, but yeah, a long time sure. ago. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, not that long. And ago. Then you would have to switch him with and Seinfeld. I don't. I'm not saying. I, I think it was Seinfeld, but I just it was, yeah, I think Seinfeld's a good. Guess. The other people up on here. You know, he could have been being, you know. You almost and done? Then, I was we're, yeah, done. We're, done. we're done. We're done. We're done. That was really fun. I know we yeah. got a couple of them right. We might have a couple mixed up. Yeah, I don't know yeah. how many we got right, but that was really interesting. I'm going to. They're educated guesses. I think yep. they're pretty well reasoned out. Yeah. These lights are just not working. I did something like this before with comedians, and I, I had a lot of fun with it, but I can't come up with a second category. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They get tangled. All right. Good job, team. Very good. All right. He should be coming back. Our part with this is scoring it. Mm -hmm. When you get one wrong, you get two wrong. No, I think it's why I think it shouldn't work out that way because of um because of the eleventh there was eleventh yeah. person but, in there. But yeah. lots of times, you know, you get one wrong, you get two or three wrong. <laughs> well, that's why I put the extra one in there. So oh yeah, I understand, but I'm just saying it's it's hard for me to to go through the answers and correct myself. I take I got to go slow one each one. It's right or wrong. Mm-hmm. Are you ready for the answers? Yep. We're ready for the answers. Sure. Okay. okay. Can you see it? Ooh, we've got a we got another wow. I I enjoy putting these together. PowerPoint is getting good at this. Oh well, I see Fran Libowitz, so that's a good sign. <laughs> Jerry Seinfeld, Burns. Oh, it's not okay. the same person I thought was Fran. Warren Buffett. That's not the person I thought of. Okay, never mind. Yeah, so let's, let's let's go through the answer. Mm-hmm. Number one. Mark Twain. Uh, oh. Damn. It was here first, right? Yeah. I Number two. Told you. Mark Twain said everything. Yeah. <laughs> no. The rest of them stole from him. Number two was E. John Lennon. Hi, Hector. Ooh. It's his personality. 
Number three was Fran Weaverlitz. Yeah. It's just the way she put things. I yeah. get her voice saying that. He's wrong. <laughs> that was K. <laughs> Number four is I, Warren Buffett. Okay. Wow. Five is D, Dorothy Parker. Way to go, Janine. Oh. So four was which one? Warren Buffett? Yes. Hi. Uh, B. And five is D. Dorothy Parker. Do we get a point for what? answering every question, even if they're all wrong? Ha -ha. <laughs> <laughs> no. A participation trophy. What yeah, a participation trophy. A perfect zero should get some kind of special honorable mention. Yes. <laughs> yeah. well, is Leslie Nielsen, C. Yay. It sounds like him, doesn't it? Mm hmm it does. Number seven was G, mm. Kurt Vonnegut. Um, no way. We thought that was Seinfeld. We thought it was Seinfeld. Oh. Did we? Oh, it's Kurt Vonnegut. Number eight. I think you all got that, or eight. Oh, damn. There was our perfect there, score. Right? That was George <laughs> Burns. Yeah, we got George Burns. That was Jay. Nine is F. Oh. Henry Kissinger. Ha. Huh. Wow. Kind that of means devious. we got another one wrong. Yeah. It sounds like him, doesn't it? No. no. Only if oh. you say it really, really slowly. <laughs> Sometimes the I thought the thing thing about the being a celebrity is bombing Cambodia. It doesn't doing. sound at all like him. I don't get it. Number 10 is Jerry Seinfeld. Oh. No yeah. way. Oh. And I did not, the one I did not have on there was the extra, which was Ralph Waldo Emerson. We got that, we got right. that one we got, right. Yeah, we got that right too. <laughs> that wasn't a question. But it doesn't count as a point. <laughs> Very good. Okay, so you guys mm. got to figure it out. Let's just score us. That was tough. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, here we go. So we're at, good Lord, another psychic. What do you have? Share Am the I sharing screen? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't share the screen. Share the screen. We can't have we can't screen. have me doing something at, out of order. Oh, yeah, good Lord, see. another psychic. Yeah, George Burns screwed us from having a perfect score. One. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Tesla's <laughs> autopilot is asleep at the wheel. Four. Okay. Uh... Trump said nobody would be a better president. Four. Okay. Oh, we got four. Oh, man. Okay. Team name. We ain't got no team name. I don't know how we got nine, but we did. We, we did. Oh, wow. No way. We didn't wow. know that. Well, that kills our lead. <laughs> we got five. Oh, you guys. Nine. Are we we didn't on? even know what we were doing. We, I can't we didn't know we what nine. we were doing, and it was really a team effort was good. Are we in the running for the low score ever? No. I don't know. <laughs> Bob, have we ever had anybody with a lower score than... I'll we'll have to look at that. You uh, have to figure out how most. bad to do in the last yeah. turn here, because we lose yeah. Robin, so... But you, you get stop, me. You can stop you sharing You get me. Okay. <laughs> like, like I said. I wasn't uh, helpful in the last round. Ron, that's not very nice. <laughs> Luann told me to say that. Luann, huh? Okay. All right, Robin, where are you? What is, is this the bonus round? What is this? Bonus round. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why are you calling on me? Am I supposed are... to do the bonus round? Yes. Oh. <laughs> well, give her a minute. Give her a minute one. while we talk about December twenty eighth. I do have one. Uh, well, I sure I, hope I, so. I had completely forgotten that I'm supposed to do the bonus round. If I don't remember signing up for that, uh, uh, give me the ten countries that border Brazil. <gasps> Ooh, Woo. share that's a border a, with Brazil. Boy, that was fast. I got two of them up my sleeve. Yeah, 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 no, no. Okay. <laughs> Ten countries. <clears throat> okay, send us to our room. Do I have? Yep, you sure do. Let me see. Uh... 
What do I click on? I still have it. I'll, give it, I'll do it. Thank you. Oh, you came up with that fast. Okay, I'm room 10, five. Well, thanks, Robin. You're really helping us. <laughs> okay, well, I'm here. So All why right. are we going to room to our rooms now? Mm hmm Why are we going to our rooms now? Because this is a bonus. Well, where was the bonus? Oh, she said 10, name the 10 countries that border Brazil. The 10 countries. Argentina, so, Colombia. Wait, 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 go slow. He's got to write them down. Argentina, Colombia. Peru. Now, is it considered cheating? I have this little globe that I keep on my desk. No, you, and no. you're allowed to use anything that's that that's in front of you that you. But you can't pick it up and turn it to Brazil. Well, Brazil is facing me. The big problem is I can't read it because it's so tiny. Okay, anyways. if it's facing you, you can look at it, but you can't. You can't. No, you can't. Yeah, I can't read it anyways. It's so you small. It's too small. <laughs> is uh, Suriname? Suriname, S U R I N A M E. Oh, uh, Ven is Venezuela. I'm glad you're typing, not me. I can't. Actually, I can't spell. we just name name pretty much every every country in uh, South, South America because uh, Brazil's yeah. so big. Could it be Paraguay and um, Uruguay? Panama is that on the side of it? Panama, no. No, that's that's central. And what's that other country in South America that sounds like it's an African country? Guyana. Guyana. Yeah. Guyana. Okay. Is Guyana in South America? I thought Guyana is in Africa. No, yeah. they sound like it's it's an African country, but it's actually in South America, and it's like in the northern northern South America, like on the Gulf. Is that British Guyana? Mm. We've got no. seven. Can't believe we can't even name that many South American countries. I'm really impressed you came up with Oh, wait, we don't, we don't have Chile on there yet. Ooh, that's Fine. embarrassing. Venezuela, <laughs> Trying to work my way around Nicaragua. No, that's in um, Central America. That's that's in yeah, Central. Yeah. America. No, 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 that's no, Central. Yeah. No. I think so. How many do we have central. there? One, two. Um. We have eight. There's two more. And El Salvador is in. I can't even central. picture. That's, that's central. That's, central that's still central, also, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Figures. I'm in a hotel with art, abstract art, not like a nice map of the world in front of me or anything. <laughs> well, I have a really nice, huge map behind me, but I'd have to unroll it, which is not legal. Oh, so no, that wouldn't work. Um. God, I can't believe you can't remember the other countries that are I can't there. even picture. I can't even picture it. I mean, isn't there like British Guiana or something like that? That's I still think that's in South America. That may be over the Pacific, somewhere in the Pacific. No, 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 no. It's if it's not Africa, then it's South America. It might it might be on the on like the, the west coast. But I don't think there's any British. Any country with the start with British. Well, there is a British Guyana, but I'm not sure if that's still in South, South. America. Yeah. So I think there's a two name country, very small in northern South America, like on the Gulf Coast. And it sounds like it would be in Africa because there are two names there that sound like it would be African names. Suriname is one of them. That's why I remember that name. Right. And then I, I can't remember the other one. That I think there was a second one that sounds like it would be an African, African country. And I don't remember anything in South America that 
starts with the British because I don't think the British ever went to South America. That was mainly Portugal. Well, they got the Falklands. Well, yeah, but that's uh, islands. It's yeah. not on the continent. Well, where, where's French Guiana? That could be 10. Well, French is probably over in in the Pacific they, because I yeah, think they, that's where France had most of his colonies. Well, they had a lot of colonies in Africa, but I don't think they ever got down to South America. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But there is a French Guiana. Yeah. But it's I don't think that's South America. I'm not well, sure. Why I don't think there, British why Guiana is put, either. Why don't you put it there? And then if we if we find a better one. Uh, oh, okay. Well, we need just one. Well, this two. And I'm not sure I'm spelling it right. But Four, anyways. five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. So keep those there until we get something better. Um, Ecuador. Yeah. Um, that's better than French Guiana. That's that's in South America. Isn't it? That's not central, is it? I'm trying to. I don't think it is. Um. Think it maybe yeah, Ecuador is at the equator, so it would be south. Of, uh, that would have to be, yeah, yeah. That's what the Ecuador means. Yeah. So we'll get we take get a French. Of, yeah. And, the French. Uh, okay. uh, how about Toreador? <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We got ten. Yeah. Is there one on here that you guys are kind of like iffy about? Yeah, British Guiana. Yeah, British Guiana. <laughs> okay, see if you can think of another one then. French Guiana. Oh. <laughs> Swedish Guiana. Okay. Stop. Can um, Canadian Guiana. There you go. I. Yeah, there's some smaller never countries been down there. in there that I can't rem remember the names of. It might be something that's just touching it. I don't know, but you just reminded me I got to get a parking spot for tomorrow. What, why does that remind you of a parking spot? Well, I have, I'm going south. Oh. <laughs> hmm. This is I think I can call everybody back. Do you think? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. We, we're we're as close as we're going to get. I think. Yeah. Go full screen. Let me leave the room. French guy. I'm going to take a picture of that. What we got? Well, good job, guys. I just we'll so, see. Should be good enough to move us from last into fifth. <laughs> Are you that bad? Yeah, we uh, told you we were. I didn't realize which room it was. Yeah, you guys better pick a better winning name next time. That's the problem. And tell Mark he was wrong tonight. Yeah, I'll tell him. <laughs> Well, maybe, yeah, maybe he's going for the last pick. Yeah, he he misheard you and said, "What is the worst team?" Which is the worst team? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. All right, good job. I'll see you in the break. Out. Well, pretty good, Robin, for someone who just pulled that out of the her, you know what. <laughs> Robin, she's, she's frozen or is she holding really still? Gone. Now we don't know the answers. Robin is holding herself. Well, um... <laughs> she's her blacked out is... on my screen, so yeah, her she, room is very, out. very dark. Totally gone. No, no, I see her. I see on my screen, it's just black. Yeah, it's black on mine too. Mine oh, too. Just black. No, mine is shows Robin and she's just like. I just shared my screen and I want you to know I didn't look. 
<laughs> well, well, Ron said he has a little a little map right in front of a little globe, but it's so small he can't see the writing on it. <laughs> well, as you can see, I have the huge globe nice, over Ron. there. Yeah. And it's like it's like five feet away. So yeah, so but... this is my globe and it doesn't help because there's no names on anything. <laughs> my, mug is, my mug's a periodic tea. world from space. <laughs> That is outdated. Do we lose Robin? Yep, she's I gone. Think she's gone entirely now. Oh gosh. The suspense. We'll never well, know we'll how well we did. Next week to find <laughs> out. Want, yeah, we got I'll go we got, over and look at my ten. globe. Yeah, it's not as if we can look at a map. Tune in next week. <laughs> find out <laughs> where Brazil is on the globe. Let's we'll see if she comes back. Well, I'm gonna go with the I will do the answer thing. <laughs> I mean, we can give you all the answers because we got them all right. <laughs> How'd we don't know what do website she picked to be the official. <laughs> yeah, yeah it might have been right. Rotten, rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> yes, it may be Italy, Portugal. <laughs> it's it's a website from a different India. universe. <laughs> it's a GOP website. Oh, sure. They've decided oh, yeah. to rename the the countries of the world. I heard her laughing a minute ago. I, I thought I did her. too. There's yeah, in Wikipedia. That was her. Brazil borders with every Southern American She's country back. except Chile and Ecuador. There we go. Wait, she's back. She's back. Yeah. She's connecting to and audio. Now she's gone again. Oh, she's typing really fast. Oh, no, fast. She's, she's connecting to audio. Hi, guys. Sorry, my, my internet at my house cuts out once in a while. Yeah, yeah. Mm. We and forgot that sucks. country. Robin, that. we were just saying that we'll have to wait till next week to learn the answers because there's no <laughs> way we could figure it out. You can That's actually just Google it. We didn't know which website you might have used. <laughs> well, one with different countries. Yeah, the, just put, put the, the, yeah, the GOP. And what year did you make this map? Yeah. Now we forgot well, that country that um those outlaws escaped to. Oh, the ones by Robert Redford and Paul oh, Newman. Oh, I remember forgot that. that oh, yeah. We forgot that country. Dang. Okay. I just searched and it says how many countries border Brazil? Nine. <laughs> Robin, Robin's gonna give us. The answer. Oh, there's ten. Yeah, because one of them was part. But I just know because the internet said nine. I I just googled it too while I wait for Robin to come back. Okay, French French Guiana. Maybe that's part of France. Okay, right. It's French Guiana, Suriname, Guyana, Venezuela, Colombia, Peru, Bolivia, Paraguay, Argentina, and Uruguay. So Bolivia was a country that's outlaws escaped in Bolivia. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I I'm really impressed. Uh, Cindy, you came yeah, up a surname. Funny. I would I never. Have my fifth grade country report. I never remember, that. Bolivia, I never so remember I, that country. I've always had a soft spot for Bolivia because I did my fifth grade country report on Bolivia. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, I did mine on Argentina. Oh, I did mine on Robin. Robin, Robin which Robin, which Guyana was that? So so there's there's Guyana, the, which Swedish. is one country, and then there's French Guiana. French Guyana. Um, Rob, French do you want to show the map Guyana. again? Okay, do we have a you. visual to go? Or at least show it. I, I put yeah. I put a I put a link in the chat. And if you just click so, on that link, someone, you'll get a visual. Someone shared the screen and there we yeah, go. There you go. So here's our French French Guiana. And yeah. Just on the upper right. Almost uh, Guyana. Guyana. Venezuela, Colombia, Peru, Bolivia, Paraguay, Argentina, and Uruguay. Good thing we crossed oh, out Ecuador. Everybody, everything well, Ecuador, Ecuador doesn't Ecuador. fit. Everything except Ecuador, Chile and Ecuador is not. Yeah, I think two countries don't. It's like, right. Wow. Ecuador yeah, Chile and Chile. And Chile. Oh, and Chile. oh, wow. The only country I ever went to there, and it's one of the ones that doesn't border. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't looked at this map in ages. Okay, so let's go over to scores. Good I've job. Been, I've been to quite a few South American countries, Colombia, um, Ecuador, and Peru. Well, Google is telling me and that. I'm about to go to Argentina. <laughs> I want to yeah. go to Peru and Ecuador. <laughs> and That's kitty kitty. Chile, we were going to Chile. Our best man was from Chile, and we were going to go visit him. Mm. And John lost his job. Hmm. Oh, did he look behind we the refrigerator? <laughs> <laughs> How about behind the couch? You never know. 
Okay. The dog ate it. Oh, the dog, dog ate it. it. <laughs> Good lord, another psychic. I think we ruined our shot at the worst score ever. We got seven. Ooh, that's not bad. Okay. Well, we're close to the worst score ever. I, I'm never. Yeah, we're in the running, but yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Tesla's autopilot is asleep at the wheel. Perfect 10. <gasps> oh, nice. You're not kidding. You did get them all. Ooh. Oh, I'm impressed. Okay. Trump said nobody would be a better president. Uh, eight. I got nine. Eight. No, eight. Eight. Eight? Yeah. Okay. Eight. He was dreaming. Hi, hi, hi. Are the Voyager uh, one data glitches? Ten. Ah, another <laughs> ten. Somebody knows their geography there. Oh. Team name. We ain't got no team name. Ten. Ten. Look at I'm that. I'm glad I offered an opportunity for some teams to get ten, the first tens of this game. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Very good. Okay. I'm impressed. Okay, there it is. The winner is team yeah. name. We ain't got no team name. Good Very job, good. Guys. Good job. You guys are awesome. Fantastic. Let me end the screen share here. Where is the there it is? Everything's so cramped on a on a laptop. I don't know. Girl, stop it. Um, may yes. I ask about people that had to leave early that I saw for the first time, Nikki and Kevin, maybe? Yeah. So Nikki is a uh, op uh a doctor, a um OBGYN. She delivers babies. And her husband, Kevin, Kevin's played before, and they are um, niece and nephew to Gail. Great. And we met him at PsychOn. And she has never played before because she's always on call and delivering babies. And so they're Michigan. And we, we nicknamed him Kaniki. <laughs> because his name is Kevin and we didn't want to have two Kevins so we have Kaniki. we didn't want to call the other Kevin Mocker so that's how it worked call me magic, in the morning, magic. You know, which is why they left, they left early. yeah they're in Michigan and it's cold over there I'm sure alright y'all so it's great to see you next week it's going to be all Rob but I'll still run the game but Rob's going to be doing all the categories so I will be permanently on a team so some lucky group is going to get me Yay. Yeah, I got people for the fo following week. I'll be worried about that. Next we have week. we have you, Kevin. That's it. We'll be all I'm right. I'm only doing one category though, not the whole. Yeah, week. yeah. You're only just doing one. Yeah. So so we'll we'll figure it out. Next so week. so my suggestion for for where you go, Susan, next week is like we did the other time, if you remember, you create all the teams, but you're not on it yet, and then a random number decides which team you go on. I'll let Mark put her on a team. <laughs> no, then he might get blamed. Name. Yeah, well, Mark can uh, pick it based on the name. That's what yeah, I mean. that's good. That's good. <laughs> well, if he's here, he's been on Thursdays. He's well, I don't know. Next week, he he might be always have Richard roll a dice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's do a dice roll. I think that's more more random. And then we'll I can't blame anybody. Though. We'll end up with a six. <laughs> no, we could, in, we in honor of Christmas coming up, yeah. I had to share uh, this. Uh, <laughs> with an ornament of he died to save others, and that's rose good. from the dead to the. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, no. it's 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 all true, and, yeah. and another biblical reference, right? He rose from the dead because of the Genesis device. <gasps> yes, ah. I think that was I think that was in there on purpose. Very good. All right, y'all. All righty. All right. Take care, everybody. Bye, everybody. Good night. Night.